Hello and good day guinea pigs. Hi Karen, I'm glad you're already here. Oh, oops, hold on. I forgot to set up some stuff. Ha 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 ha. Oopsie, there we go. Hydrate, all right. Mmm, <clears throat> tasty electrolytes. Um, so. There we go, okay, now, now everything's all cleaned up. All right, all right, so. As you saw, last night, very late at night, I was doing a lot of testing. <clears throat> Testing a bunch of different mods. Uh, shoot, you know, I actually need to check if my mod list is still okay. Um, I need to check that everything's in here still. Why do I have EPO but not EPO forked? I thought I installed EPO forked. You're kidding, right? Ah, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we're gonna have to restart. Give me just a second. Sure. You know what? That's good. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, late at night, I was testing a lot of mods. Um, I found out many things. First off, Metal Rim Rising, incompatible with Combat Extended. Uh, Combat Extended Auto Patcher can't fix it either. Hi, Bear. Uh, what else? I mean, it's fine. The It's a brand new mod. I don't expect it to be... C compatible right out of the bat and honestly I don't even expect them to make it C compatible ever because I looked at uh, the way the authors talked about C and doesn't seem like they like it <laughs> had a weird day I saw <clears throat> let's see what else um, EPOE actually I haven't checked EPOE forked apparently because I installed the wrong one so I guess we're just going to test it live. We went on an adventure and got snacks. How fun. Don't eat them all. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I tested the uh, medical system expansion mod. It does not look to be... I mean, it works together with the Evolved Organs Redux mod, like... It doesn't break the game, I don't think, if you have both. <laughs> Eat them all. The little angel and the demon on your shoulder. And for once, I'm the little angel. <laughs> um... But yeah, like, the Evolved Organs Redux mod doesn't break uh, medical system expansion or vice versa, but they aren't, like, really compatible. They don't integrate together. Um, so medical, exp uh, medical system expanded makes it so that each limb actually has the proper parts instead of just um, replacing the root part. So <clears throat> the... On, on the health tab, it'll always say, with the prosthetic arm, it'll say a left shoulder and then the arm. But in a hidden list that you can't see uh, by default, it actually removes everything from below the left shoulder. Uh, like, all of the parts. So, like, because of the way the game processes it, you can't wear gloves. And also, like, uh, limb health is weird with that, too. Like, you can't... Like, there's no fingers to get shot and stuff. And so damage redistribution gets a little weird with a lot of bionics. So there's a lot of stuff that gets weird with vanilla style uh, prosthetics. But 
with a medical system expanded, it actually simulates all of those parts from the bionic root all the way down. Like it'll simulate the complete arm. And that's something I've been wanting for a long time. And there's been a couple workaround mods and I do have one of those installed uh, that like sort of just adds those parts back, but it's not perfect. Medical system expanded is a lot cooler and it adds a lot more customization, but it's not compatible with a lot of the, uh, a lot of the mods that I have. Actually, it's it's mainly just not compatible with um, Evolved Organs Redux. That's the main one. I'm considering just allowing having it at both at once because it's not like they break the game. It's just that like you can't really um, like the way that the limbs work. I kind of have to uh, implant them in a certain order and a certain manner. Uh, like the lower shoulder implants, it would be kind of a waste to use normal ones. So that's where you'd put the evolved organ redux ones. Yeah, eat the Doritos bear, eat all the snacks. Don't eat your snacks, you'll feel oh, awful. I have a pound. Of, oh my god, a pound. 1.8 pound. Damn, wish you could share with me. <laughs> it's all or nothing. True. True. That's really how it is, huh? Um, but the, uh, what's it called? What was I, what was I going on about? Completely forgot, honestly. Uh, but I think I can have both mods installed at once, but they don't really work too well together. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you, Bear. <clears throat> But uh, Medical System Expanded is really cool because it allows you to install extra modules in uh, your limbs and stuff. So like the the elbow blade implant from Royalty, which is like a hidden little blade in your elbow, that no longer replaces your whole arm. Instead, it just adds on to an already existing arm. So you can have an elbow blade inside of an Arcotech arm. So like you get the benefits of both and it's really cool. And I really 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 like that uh so i might might just have both installed at once i'll have to do further testing on whether there is some there are some things that are broken but i did do a little bit of preliminary testing with installing both mod stuff on one person and seeing exactly how it works uh, but i'm gonna have to go a little bit in more in depth with that oh toolkit core Oh yeah, no, that's that's a pretty common thing. Just eat the whole full size bag of chips. You know, family size. Just eat it, the whole thing, as a snack. I mean, they do engineer that shit to be addicting, so <clears throat> not surprised. You know, when you do eat candy, you get one piece out at a time, and they. <laughs> yeah, I am a family. Thank you very much. Me, myself, and I. That's a whole family. <laughs> Since you're lazy, you won't get up again. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Alcatron. Since you're lazy, you won't get up to get more. <laughs> uh... Yeah, uh, on one of, oh wait, no, it wasn't one of my streams. I wanted, like, while I was playing d and I, like, at some point when I was taking a break to get more water or something, there was, like, an open bag of peppermint candies, and it was a huge bag, so I didn't feel bad about taking an entire handful. And uh, over the course of that d and game, I ate the entire handful of peppermint candies and uh, broke my stomach for the day. That was great. I think that was last Tuesday. That was That was a bad time. Also, my tongue was like completely like I couldn't taste anything for the next day because of all the peppermints. They weren't soft peppermints, though. They were they were hard peppermints. I, I regret it. But uh, unfortunately, I'm addicted to mint, so. That's just how it is sometimes. 
All right. Okay. So, this time, just because I added in uh, EPOE forked, I don't know if I want to immediately go into our game. So I'm going to show you guys my testing world just real quick. Congratulations, guys. You get a, you get a peek into my testing world. Um, so let me check. I have a bunch of random candy I use slow as fucking and every time you get chips, finish them within days. Yep. All right, you get to see the testing world with the war crime room. It's also made all entirely out of like uh, super busted uh, OP material. And it's built in a grid. And it's supposed to be a more or less self-sufficient base that I can just do my testing in. All right. Spree and runts. I've, I've never even heard of spree and runts. Okay, let's check. Is is stuff broken? Okay, bionics table is missing. Original EPOE workbench debug. Uh oh. Leftover migration from e original EPOE. De Deconstructor destroyed this to obtain a prosthetic workbench and a bionic. Workbench. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna come to God mode and do that. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's cool how that just works. Okay, so there is a bionics and... Uh, what's it called? Thing. Okay, I might have to uninstall the children in school mod because it's throwing a lot of errors. Also, it's the one that adds in all the child soldiers, so... Uh, okay, let's see. What does this have? This is a bionics workbench. Advanced bionics. All this stuff gets moved to the bionics bench. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Protective exoskeleton. Oh, that's new. What are these? MAAI chip? Oh, that's all new. That is all new. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh... Synthetic nanoprinter. Okay, I see, I see. Whoa, there's all these different new... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm switching to EPOE forked. This, this is way better. Uh, let me check that it didn't break my implants. All right. Also, this is what a full implant list looks like. Do you see how long that scroll list is? This is what full implantation looks like. k -Ron, you're not even close. <laughs> uh, let's see. Combat AI. Okay, all of those are still there. Do I still have the... I do still have the exoskeleton suit. That's good. All the royalty implants are still there. Did I have anything else that wasn't... There that was from EPOE. Oh yeah, the auxiliary AIs. Those are all there. That's good. I still haven't checked if auxiliary AIs replace um, certain things, but I don't think they do. I think we already did that in uh, the main world. Uh, also, you can't have both the electronic and bionic brain pal. I did this with the character editor. You're not supposed to be able to do this. Legs. Oh yeah, I have reinforced legs. So these things are the ones that I think I could allow you to have, um, but they do speed you up quite a bit still. But they do give you, wait, just plus, that's it? Okay, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll allow up to like bionic legs or something, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I need to check. Okay, it doesn't look like any of my uh, stats are screwed up. Uh, these are my test subjects here. Uh, let's check which was the one. Okay, yeah, this was the one with the drone brain. I want to check. Oh, wait, did it? I think it. 
Oh, wait, no, I loaded back from an old save. Yeah, definitely an old save. Okay. All right. Picked up an old crochet project that you abandoned? Okay, nice. You, I don't believe you told me. Anyway, let's load up banging halls and let's just hope. Let's just hope that it doesn't screw up everything. I don't think it should. Shouldn't insta-kill any of our pawns. We should be okay. I'm crossing my fingers, though. All right, it's gonna be a bag made from patches that look like sunflowers. Oh, okay, that's nice. Sunflower bag. All right. Oh. All right, one patient awaits medical operation. What are we doing to Alcadron? Oh, we're installing the nuclear stomach. That's right. Um, Boulder might self-tamed drilling oil well. Tattered apparel times three. Oh, that's right. Fuck you, past me. I left this off uh, right after the mechanoid raid. That's right. Fuck me. Okay, well, let's hope that we can survive this then. Uh, it looks like my benches have disappeared. So I'm gonna have to rebuild some of them. Oh wait, no. Original EPO workbench, deconstruct, okay. Surgery scheduled, Arcotech arm. Wait, you are- yeah. No, wait, you already have the Arcotech arm. And yeah, I won't forget about your bunny stuff. Um, check the uh, request thing on the Discord if you want to know more. Basically, Karen wants bunny ears. Or not Karen, Alcatron. Alcatron wants bunny ears. That's all. Uh, also, Karen, you already have all four Arcotech arms, I believe. Yeah, you already do. Oh, wait, let me see. Did it queue it up on your ass? No, it didn't. Okay, no, that's that's wrong. Okay, hold on. I got to fix that. Uh, I don't know if you can put an Arcotech arm on the tailbone. I think it might. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. You have to use a an Evolved Organs Redux one. Yeah. Nuclear stomach, okay. Alright, next on resurrection sickness. Me, resurrection sickness, okay. Wait, what did I have here? Wait, why do I have Arcotech arms? Oh, wait, yeah, I remember. Okay, no, we did add those. Um, wow, this place is fucked up. The prison's broken. Some of our best people are downed. Alcatron's gonna be out for as long as that goes. Um, this needs to be done. Oh man, our best constructors are out. Wulongs is a constructor as well, I think. Um, but it's second priority because Wulongs is also a grower. Wulongs is constructing. All right. Um, okay, hold on. We're gonna get the Evolved Organ stuff, like, legit. Alright, Bionics Workbench. Reinstall that over there. Okay. Actually, cancel that one, install this one there. Okay. Um, bonk. Pelvis. Why do you get a new stomach? Because your stomach is destroyed. You took a really bad shot in the last raid. 
uh, and your stomach was destroyed, so we had to replace it really quickly. And we don't have the uh, equipment that we need to make the bunny ears yet, I don't believe. Or actually, hold on. Was it in here? Oh, hey, it is here. Okay. All right, we can do this. Um, uh, where is it? Where's the rabbit? Oh, there it is. Rabbit ear. Do you want the rabbit tail, too? Uh, keep in mind, if you get the rabbit tail, you can't have a tail arm. Yeah. You got your guts destroyed. Alright. Uh, we're also going to need a nano fabricator so that we can make the materials that we need for it. Hopefully that's not too expensive. Three advanced components. Oh, dear. Can you get bull horns? Sure. Uh, bull horns. There you go. I'm gonna grab stuff with your ass. <laughs> Why do you want a tail arm? It increases your manipulation even further. All right. Let's install these armchairs. Thank you very much. those workstations and no seats yeah I mean we don't have a lot of hyperweave so we can't really spare the hyperweave for nice chairs if I wanted to make them out of cloth I could or even human leather in fact I should do that there's just been more important things to do recently but right now we're just kind of waiting for people to recover so let's just make some human leather chairs all over the place here There we go. Let's make it so that these are all at least excellent quality. Wait, why are we breaking down shield belts? I don't know, but you know what? We should make some shield belts. Okay, make shield belts. Let's do this till we have one. Then all of our melee people will actually have shields. How the dog doing? The dog barking. As you can clearly hear since you asked. Um, I don't know. The dog is probably fine right now, though. Maybe a little bit sad and lonely because no one else is home. It's just me. I mean, relatively fine. My dog is still uh, kind of recovering from some weird spinal injury. Like, all that considered, doing all right. Okay, I still have resurrection sickness, but it looks like everyone else is back up. Yeah, anesthetic wearing off. All right. Bobo White. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Probably bathing or something. If you spawn in a refugee that's being chased, I'm not going to not going to answer. We don't need more people. We already have so many. Refugee chase quest is um, uh, refugees that come in. Okay, thrombos. We're going to try taming them. I'm pretty sure they can eat meat, so we can feed them people. Right? Do they eat meat? Oh, shit. They don't eat meat. Okay, that could be bad. Um, oh, dear. 
that could be really bad. Okay, let's choose one thrombo. Let's choose the youngest one. All right, this thrombo. They eat entire trees and vegetables. I don't think looking at veggie is going to get you anything. Going to give the thrumbo a carrot? <laughs> How kind. Twenty four carrots? That's not even a single bite for a thrumbo. Look, let me let me show you. These guys are enormous. Where'd they go? Where did the thrumbos go? There they are. Okay. These guys are like literally bigger than giraffes. A gigantic graceful creature of unknown origin. The thrumbo is gentle by nature, but extremely dangerous when enraged. While its long fur is exceptionally beautiful, its hide is also incredibly resistant to damage. Its razor-sharp horn fetches a huge price. Legends say that an old Thrumbo is the wisest creature in the universe. It simply chooses not to speak. Uh, the old tooltip for this thing said that they were originally made as some sort of art project. Oh my god, these guys are tough. What? 14 millimeter? Oh my god. That's like a couple times stronger than power armor. What the fuck? That is ridiculous. Are these- hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to check that against a centipede. Alright, centipedes? Okay, they're almost as strong as a centipede. 20 millimeters. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, seriously, built different. Like, let's compare that to, say, Kron, who is wearing adamantium oh, I mean it's light power armor but it's still adamantium armor and it's supposed to be really good you have 2.94 millimeters RHA you have 3 compared to 14 unbelievable <laughs> 420 carats thank you that's a little better tech print for poison synthesis let's get someone to do that someone who isn't oh Zephy there you go Apply that tech print. Okay, why are you breaking down the mittens instead of just burning them? Oh wait, were they considered clean? That must be it. Wait a second. I should do this. Um, recycle apparel. Not allowing tainted apparel here. That way, tainted apparel will all go straight to the crematorium. There we go. I mean, if you want to buy adamantium, that would be very helpful. Because, I mean, we're already making it. So, it doesn't... It's not like uh, you're super breaking the game. So it's, it's just speeding up what we're already making. So, yeah, if you want to buy adamantium, I will not complain. Okay, 500 adamantium. That's like three power armor suits at least, if not four. That's pretty great. All right, we're still working on our nuclear reactor, though. Um... That's like, where are we waiting on? Turbine blades, how many do we have right now? Oh, only 47 operations left. We're more than halfway done. All right. Good job, Kron. Oh, Bobo and Kron in a fight. Kron beat his ass. Good job. Kron 13 is disarmed Bobo in melee combat. Beat his ass.
All right, how's our site? Yo, our cycloid's ready to harvest. Wulongs, why are you not harvesting? Harvest. Bring us our beautiful cycloid. And this should also allow us to get, um, what's it called? The, uh, Berserker chip. Which is no longer cute, I just realized, because the tables are gone. Uh, let's see, where is it? B-E-R. Berserker chip. There we go. So we need one of those. That's for k -Ron. I've discovered in my testing, these are safe to implant, even with the brain pal. It's not going to replace your brain. So it's good. It is all A-O good. Does Bobo hate you now? Uh, let's find out. Looks like you're still rivals with Zephy for some reason. No, Bobo doesn't really hate you. Bobo is just kind of like, meh. I mean, he doesn't particularly like you. But, uh, doesn't look like he hates you. Insulted minus 82. God damn. Woman minus 25. Oh, Bobo's a misogynist. That's why he doesn't like you. that care on making their own uh, berserker chip yeah that's why he'll never find love Bobo the incel Psychic Soothe, thank you very much. I think we actually do kind of need that, except uh, it's a shame that it was female because it looks like all the all the men in the colony are actually kind of down, as in like all two of them. I think it's, I think the only men in the colony are Bobo and Constellation. Like I'm pretty sure, yeah, Nexon's, Nexon's pawn is a woman. Zephy is... Why is Zephy's body like that? Let's fix that. Why do you have the male body type? There you go. Welcome back. Let's turn all these back on. She get mad. <laughs> All right, Berserker chip done. Let's get that into Karon's head. Berserker chip go. Five dollars for the gummy bears. Uh, 
Uh oh. Oh wait, no, that's not an uh oh. You got up. Is this? Is this a? No, it's a T3. I thought it was a T4 for a moment. T4s would be really great. Let's uh make sure that we allow all of these so that they got they get brought in for steel. You know, fuck it. Allow all on map. There we go. Okay, who's supposed to be our animal tamer? Rue. Rue, what are you doing right now? Taming Thrumbo. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thank you very much. The leader of the religion is a crazy berserker with four arms. I mean, yeah, that's the whole philosophy of science juice. Get juiced up. That's our that's our motto. Has to be done in that intonation too. Get juiced up. Got to sound like uh, your uh, energy drink commercial. Juiced up, yeah. <laughs> Those little boop boop sounds, those are um, Android circuits getting disconnected. So that's what that sound is. All right, uh, refined proteins using humanoid meat. Let's do that until we have, uh, maybe a thousand might not be enough. Let's go for, what's a multiple of 750? Uh, three, two, five. No. Oh yeah, no, three, two, five, zero. That's a, that should be a multiple of 750. That's like 750 times what, four or so? I don't know. Red Bull gives you wings, but science juice gets you juiced up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, the leader of our religion here. Or I, I, we shouldn't call it a religion because it's not really a religion. It's a cult. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> the leader of our cult of science juice is uh, a gasoline drinking four armed berserker. <laughs> Let's deconstruct these uranium toilets. Uh, we don't want them anymore. Juice cult, juicy cult. I don't know. Juice, juice is all I know. My first Rimworld mod will be to rename Go Juice to Science Juice and give it a new icon. bug in the kitchen we do oh no that's a mechanoid pike man i actually want to hold on to these guys keep them around because uh no it does not need to be squished the reason why is because i want to eventually hack this thing and you know how pikemen have mortars that means that's a free mortar this thing here if we can hack it and bring it to our side that's almost a free mortar that we can just use in combat, which I would like. So we're gonna keep that. Same with this one, that's why I kept it alive. If you can down a mechanoid without killing it, you can hack it with uh, the what the hack mod, which I have installed. Oh, 
That's why I'm also leaving these centipedes out here uh, without uh, finishing them off, because, you know, a tamed centipede would be fucking insane. You saw what the kind of damage that they did uh, last time, and if you didn't see, go watch the VOD, haha. Wow, self-promotion. But yeah, you could see the you could see the damage that they did. It they killed three of us, and like they ripped up the end like this whole section of wall here. All of that was like gone, and they destroyed all of the turrets that were out here. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. It was pretty crazy the amount of damage that just three centipedes can do. Because of combat extended, they can like suppress. Uh, they can suppress you, because people do tend to get scared when they're being shot at. You know. Uh, luckily, the go juice or the berserker chip in Kron should help with that. Time to upgrade the wall. Uh, yeah, part of the reason why I'm doing uh, rim atomics is so that I can stop using chemfuel for power. I can start using it to make petroleum products. Uh, one of those is called composite, and it's a better material to build out of than granite, and it's like fairly cheap. Uh, it only takes chem fuel, which I'm going to be digging out of the ground. So, uh, yeah, composite is the building material of the future. Also, it's like gold and yellow, and it's prettier to me like visually than the gold that's actually in the game like it's a it's a deeper darker yellow so it's it hurts the eyes a little bit less Karon fighting with the Zephy what's going on Karon why are you getting in so many fights is it the, is it the berserker chip does the berserker chip do that to you I don't think it does oh berserker chips make it so that you're completely unsuppressible that's really cool Wait, holy shit. I should give these for everyone. Berserker chips are insane. Zero suppressibility? Oh, man. Okay, maybe not for everyone, but I should get it for our melee people and also our uh, our people with machine guns. Like, suppressive fire, because we need to keep suppressive fire going. Can't have our suppressive fire people get suppressed. <laughs> Rival battle. Oh, that's true. Yeah, these two are rivals. Okay, Ron, why are you trying to... Don't, don't try and kill Zephy. You can, you can fight her, but don't, don't kill. Oh, these two were surrogates, that's right. Um, Thrumbo's not getting tamed, and what's Zephy doing? Nothing. Because Katie's on the resource console. Okay. Well, how's the progress on that? Going good. How much steel do we have? 751 steel, it looks like. It's a little hard to see over this background. There we go. Yeah, 761 steel. That's not a lot. We really burned through that steel. Uh, hopefully Bobo's gonna mine up some more here. No, nope, he's gonna mine silver first. No, let's mine steel first. That's a little more important. All right, look at all this tainted clothing. Let's, I'm gonna set them to destroy it, but uh, I kind of doubt that any of it's gonna get destroyed in time. Um. That should take care of most of the 
garbage clothing. Um, hold on. One of these things I wanted to actually make. Can't remember. Oh, that's right. I wanted to give myself a little military beret. Give myself appearance clothing. All right. Wanted to give myself the little mad scientist look. Or actually, not mad scientist look, but just like my look. You know? You know? Let's see, where's where's the beret? That's the normal beret. I want the one that has a little logo on it. Eventually, I'm going to want to add logos onto my hat for my model. Uh, but I just haven't had the time to. Or the energy. Why is the military beret not an option? Oh, there it is. Change the color. There we go. And then let's give me some clothing. Uh, let's go with this thing. And then classic duster. For some reason, the duster colors don't actually update. Oh, wait, no, it did. What? For once, it actually did update properly. Okay, there we go. There's my lab coat. All right. Um, all right, we can just go with that. Look at that. I'm wearing my little hat. What's a Samari? As soon as I go outside, I should see my hat appear. Or maybe not as soon as, but if I go outside for a long period of time, I should see my hat appear. Ask autocorrect? Huh. Hat? Where are my hats? Oh, I'm making turbine blades? Okay, sure. Thought that was kind of Kron's thing, but sure. for the ears and the tail uh we need the materials for it so we need nano weave let's see we made the berserker chip uh rabbit ears what do these take 10 nano weave and advanced component uh so we're going to need do until you have x uh let's say okay we'll do 10 for now because it's all we need immediately but yeah okay i don't know how long we'll see <laughs> i have it queued up so it's it should be soon, but I don't actually know how long it's going to take because, like, you know, we are kind of trying to recover from getting completely wrecked right now and also trying to build a nuclear reactor at the same time. There's kind of a lot going on right now, so please, patience. Nano weave, 200. Damn. Okay, sure. Uh, I guess if you wanted that bad, we can we can do that. How many advanced components do we have? Uh, looks like enough to be making helmets. Just drink your camviol and calm down. <laughs> Recycling. Okay, no, you have more important things you could do. As in, you can make your own little bunny ears. You know, I really ought to add these zones here as clear snow areas, because people like to walk along them a lot. Let's just set these roots here as areas to be cleared of snow. 
this way they'll uh, get places a little bit faster, hopefully. There we go. That should speed up move times a little bit. All right, there you go. You're making your bunny ears. There's one. Gonna make the second one? No. Come on. It's not gonna take that long. Make the second set. Then you can look at your telescope. Okay. Clear prioritize work. Let's get you your bunny ears. Left crown, right crown. Oh, that's so fucked. I can like, wait, why are there several different kinds? Why, why are there two sets here? That's weird. I can install a rabbit ear on the front of your head like a singular horn, like a unicorn horn. <laughs> uh, God, large infestation? How is that different from a normal one? It's just gonna queue this up here. Large infestation. Uh, I mean, okay. That's kind of small. Wait a second. Oh shit, they have a queen. Oh man, okay, that's kind of bad. Um, as massive as an adult thrumbo? Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, this is bad. 12 millimeters RHA. I think our plasma swords can take that, but I don't know. Hmm. Wow, holy shit, why are the blades that sharp? Okay, maybe we don't want to fuck with these guys. Royal Mega Spider. Rhino size natural spawn of the Intactoid Queen herself, serving not only as her bodyguard, but also as a primary mate. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, um... I think mortars might be the best course of action here. Is everyone... Hmm, recreation, low recreation we can deal with. Lungs has low food. Okay, Wulongs, I need you to wake up. Uh... Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna do this the smart way. All right, draft everyone. I don't have a weapon because I died. That's right. Shit. Okay. Uh, equip. Where's my gun? Where's my L20? Charge LMG. There it is. Equip that. That's mine. Bobo, where's your sword? 
Wait, genuinely, where is your sword? Where'd the plasma sword go? That, that shit's expensive. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, Bobo, grab your sword. Okay. Everyone else has a weapon. That's good. All right. Um, let's check who needs to eat. Bear will probably be okay. Charon's fine. Uh, John, okay. Wulongs needs to eat. So, eat some stir fry. Oh, getting a call. Give me a moment. Uh, it was a body shop. They found something wrong with my car. Yay! But you know what? I don't really care right now. All right, let's see. Anyone else hungry? Uh, okay, Nexon's kind of hungry. Rue will probably be fine. Probably be fine. Constellation, you are very hungry. Katie, you're also pretty hungry. Alright, there we go. Let's get the people to eat. All right, everyone's ready. I think. Zephy doesn't have a weapon. Wait, why does Zephy not have a weapon? Why does Zephy not have a weapon? Are you the only one who feeds your pawn? Kinda. I mean, no one else here. Actually, no, we do have some other people in the chat, but uh, I don't know, you guys feed your pawns if you got them. Uh, what should we give Zephy? Don't want to give the Gauss Rifle, because that will be friendly fire. Um, Alright, Zephy, take the Smart Machine Gun. That'll probably be the best thing for you. Why are you wearing a shield belt? Oh, look at that. Wearing my little beret, that's so cool. Alright, let's get you to drop the shield belt. And also that. Alright, there we go. All right, everyone, come over here. Actually, get over here. We need to get into a nice choke point where we can get them. Actually, right here will probably be the best one. All right, we're gonna set off the mortars. Fire at will. Hey, Rue. Yeah, Rue feeds their, Rue feeds their pond. All right. Wild miss from the first mortar. Large hives, you say, huh? Wow, these mortars are so good. You know what? Katie isn't very good at shooting, so let's have you reload these mortars. Wow. Come on, guys, really? Is this such a hard target to hit? Come on, mortars, really? Why are they having such a hard time with that? All right, 
Let's send our people in a little bit closer. Kron in particular. So let's see if we can improve the accuracy at all. By um. Ah. Yeah, sending you in with the binoculars. I don't know if they actually work on the auto mortars. I'm pretty sure they don't, but if they do by any chance, it could give a slight accuracy bonus. I know it doesn't make it pinpoint like I think it's supposed to, but it should make it at least a little bit better, right? God, these mortars are so garbage. Target the queen with that. Nope. Nope, don't don't go there. Target the queen. Alright, marked. Don't think that's gonna do anything. Katie, please reload the mortar. Shot off the map again. Keep, they keep shooting off the map. My god, these fucking mortars suck so bad. Come on, please. Hit something. Okay, yeah, looks like mortars are not the way to do this. Um, where'd everyone go? Oh, that's right, they're right here, okay. Katie, no, don't, don't cook right now, I need you to do the mortars. That's why I undrafted you. All right, let's send everyone out a little bit further. Great, you got food poisoning. Please don't feed yourself raw meat as we're getting into battle. That will actually get you killed. Like, no joke, you will die. Alright, let's see. Can our snipers hit anything? Not quite yet. Move up a little bit. You two. You still not in range, huh? Yeah, still not in range. Okay, move up a little bit more. Bring everyone up. At least the mortars aren't so bad they begin hitting us. No, don't then don't eat just human meat. You can eat your raw human meat outside of combat. Don't worry about it. You can you can do that later. Now is just not the time. All right, there we go. We got a hit. Ah, damn it, the queen's out of range, okay. Hopefully we can use this to get them a little bit aggroed. Yeah, party's been called off. Par right now is not the best time for a party. A party for Charon's victory. Oh fuck! It's the anniversary of the uh, of Charon killing the entire psychic ship all on his own. All right, let's, let's move over here to get a better better angle on these guys. Alcatron just doing some serious work out here. Come on, guys. Okay, let's get the snipers on the centipedes. These are the really dangerous ones that we... Alcadron, why are you not... I 
swear, they sometimes they just decide to put away their weapons because they run out of ammo instead of just reloading the damn weapon. Okay, Rue, get in front. Bear, get in front. Okay, Ron, get in front. Alcatron, what are you doing? What? 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 Why are you not shooting? Come on, people. It's a good thing we have good weapons. Because I don't understand the logic of these people. Where they just decide not to shoot. Why is Rue so damn slow? Food poisoning. Yeah, okay. As expected. Alcatron, why are you not shooting? Why are you? There you go, better. Come on, keep shooting them. Just get a little bit closer, maybe. You know what? Okay, no, Rue, you are not going to fucking make it. Uh, Bobo, let's got you down. Bursting. Oh, <laughs> Bobo needs to. Bobo needs to poopy. All right, go back. You don't have a shield belt anyway. All right, come on, people. Why are we not shooting? The queen's out. Oh my god, please just reload your damn gun. Why do you just unequip it? Reload the gun! Oh my god. Okay, shoot the queen. The queen is the one we need dead. Why are you shooting at the sky steel? Shoot the queen. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we got this. We can take out the queen. All right, queen's down. All right, move in a little closer, guys. You know, we don't need cover, they don't have range attacks. At least I don't think these ones do. Right, Moving a little closer. Come on, people, shoot. What are they doing? They are not shooting. Why are you not shooting? Reload. Why do you not reload? Why does Alcadron not reload? I don't understand why this keeps happening. Are they seriously out of range for all of you? Come on. on don't single fire just suppress why are you not shooting why are none of you shooting they are within your range people why are you not shooting what the fuck Fine, just fuck. I, I don't care. Just kill them. I don't care how you do it. Rue is having a tantrum. Okay. Next on. What do you mean you're watching for targets? They're all over the place. They're everywhere. Why are you not doing anything? There you go. There you go, that's more like it. 
Okay, range users, you can go home. I don't think there's any more threats. Let's just let Bear and Kron clean this up. guys go home <sighs> did I break the unlimited ammo it's not a mod that gives unlimited ammo it's just a, it's a base setting in combat extended they're just not reloading for some reason Oh, shit, I completely missed Tipsy being here. Maybe because someone was in front of you. No, that didn't stop me from shooting right over Nexon's shoulder. Rimworld pawns are supposed to be able to just shoot over each other's shoulders and stuff. It's like a mechanic in the base game. I'm pretty sure Combat Extended doesn't overwrite that either. Hersher's missing an ear now, so let's, uh, we should make a bionic ear replacement, or even just an ear bandage would probably be good. Yeah, let's just get pr prosthetic cochlear implant. I saw it. There we go. Just do that. That'll fix it. Okay, I saw the unicorn horn. All right. I want to wait until Alcatron's back up, though, because I don't want to have zero crafters. Why are these not getting installed? Why is your consciousness so low? What? That's weird. The values don't line up. Mm, that's really weird. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, you're tired, malnourished, recreation deprived, and in serious pain. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to force you to eat. Where are you? Eat. Okay, there we go. Alcatron's getting the bunny ears. What? You have two left rabbit ears. Okay, we have to fix that. Uh, 
that's not right. Okay, I'm gonna fix this manually because <laughs> this is fucked up. Okay. I don't know why it didn't specify which one it had. A bit. Oh, wait. Right rabbit ear. Right crown. There you go. Okay, you have your bunny ears now. I don't know why it put two left rabbit ears on you, but now you have them both. <laughs> Rim world. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure it didn't specify. <sighs> Rue on a sad wander before I could even force you to eat. Unbelievable. Sputtering. Oh. You know, the fire's right here. Okay, no, you're you're going up now. That's good. Okay. Oh. What was that? Heard a turret. Oh. Okay, no, you hold your fire. Could you really, could you please not do that? Hey, why are you set to run away? Kill. There you go. I... I think, Rue, if you want those cannibal benefits, I think you can drink cannibal coffee. You're getting a negative? Wait, what? No. Wait, who is? No, it's not a negative, it's a positive. Plus two, human leather backpack. No, Rue's getting a positive from it. It's positive from the human with the backpack. Yeah, cannibal coffee. The blood of Rue's enemies. Go ahead. You can drink that. See, it's, it's coffee. It was red, but it's at zero. So that thought there is overridden by... Um, so this is a science juicer thought. That is given, but it's overwritten because Rue has bloodlust, I believe. Or, no, cannibal. So, yeah, that's why. Use cannibal coffee for your human meat needs. And then, just when you feed yourself, give yourself, like, a normal meal, like a lavish meal or something. Not raw human meat. You're going to get food poisoning. <laughs> telling you you're gonna get food poisoning all right let's see what do we want to do for research um maai chip we're gonna need that ai persona core implant okay yeah these are all new stuff that's all new stuff from epo forked Let's get that installed. Let's get that researched. Brain wiring, yes please. Specialized limbs, yes please. Poison synthesis, yes please. Uh, let's see. Giddy up module, side focus equipment. Defense columns, sure, why not? Accelerated cellular, accelerator, accelerated cellular regeneration. That's what I was trying to say. Plasma confinement. 
sure. I'm just going to grab a bunch of random little researches here. Wait, we haven't even had multi-barrel weapons yet. Let's bring that a little bit further forward. Let's get some miniguns out here. There we go. Stick with that research that's queued up for now. Uh, yeah, no, that, that should be good. Maybe a little more. There we go. All right. Raw is better. No, it's not. Raw means food poisoning. You literally had a mental break because you had raw meat and you got food poisoning. Okay, let's... Next on. Oh, shoot. Everyone's priorities got reset. All right. Uh, let's fix that. Oh, wait, I'm good at crafting for some reason. Let's have me do some crafting, too. No cooking. No nuclear. All right. There we go. That should be good. Bobo set you to max cooking. Uh, okay, there we go. Priorities should be fixed. Uh, you know, I have 1k channel points. You take back what you said about my raw human meat. <laughs> I'll do it, I swear. Do it. Do it, Rue, I dare you. <laughs> Is there still time for K-Ron Day party? Um... The original party got called off, but you can, like, manually send in a party, maybe? We can have a delayed Kerande party. It's not a, not too big of a deal. Ah! <laughs> I was gonna try and do the Markiplier punching away bullets thing, but then I realized I don't have my hand tracking. <laughs> Props to Floyd! <laughs> Ugh. You know what? One thing I discovered about these mortars is I don't think they actually take mortar shells because of the infinite ammo thing. So we can just build more. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they take mechanoid components, so we don't have a lot of those. Alright, they're having their little party. K Ronde party. Yay. Alright. Let's see, what other random little things do we need to destroy? All 
All right. Extreme break risk. Why are you so sad? Hungry and filthy. Okay, you're not going to be sad very much longer. Why are you sad, Nexon? You just don't have anything really good going on in your life. Unfortunate. Are you a body modder? No. Chemical fascination. Too smart. Five uranium auto mortars. Okay. I'll take it. So I don't want to rely on these too heavily, but like, if I need them, it would be kind of funny just to see a rain of horribly inaccurate mortars just flying in. <laughs> okay, party's been called off because Rue and Kron are fighting. I have to make sure to set all of these to hold fire so they don't immediately start shooting the random down mechanoids because I want to keep them. Looks like we got our first smoke leaf harvest, so that's good. <laughs> Stop being sad! <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's our whole mess of mortars right there. Stop eating chem fuel. <laughs> <sighs> yup. You can't tell me what to do, drinks gasoline. All right, uh, now that Alcadron's back up, let's implant your horns and stuff. This one I know is the front. Left one. Right one. Hopefully that'll end up doing it right. If not, I can fix it manually. Oh, just the one? You don't want the bullhorns? Okay. That actually helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, if it's just a unicorn horn, that one will go in the right place. Oh, hey, look at that. Medicine looks different now. That must be a Epo forked thing. Or maybe it's Epo retextured? There you go. Look at that. You got a unicorn horn now. You know, you could have a thrumbo horn too. Wait, speaking of which, are the. The thrombos left and we didn't get to tame it. God damn it. Thrombos are like the death unicorns of Rimworld and they're glorious. All right, there we go. We have our oil well done. That's our deep oil well going. All right, how's progress on the nuclear reactor? 12 more turbine blades to go. Okay, that's good. Uh, we have steel. So we're just waiting now. Now you're always horny. <laughs> Bonk. I'm going to arrest you and send you to horny jail.
All right. Um, looks like all of our bills got removed, so I'm going to have to set these all up again. Uh, so let's do... We want one neuro calculator. That's for me. Do I have one yet? No, I do not. So we need the neuro calculator. Uh, we need... Let's unpause. Learning assistant. Let's get one of these for, like, everyone. Uh, coagulators. We want one of those for everyone. Uh, healing enhancer. Definitely want one for everyone. Tough skin gland. Definitely want one for everyone. Yes, you are no longer sad. Congratulations. Uh, aesthetic shaper. Sure. Everyone can have uh, hot bodies. Aesthetic nose. Sure. Give those to everyone. Love enhancer. I mean, no one in this entire place fucks, but we can... We can do that. Actually, wait, I think... No, never mind. Hold on. Kron and Wulongs. <laughs> All right, uh, let's continue. Um, nuclear stomachs, because those are amazing. Uh, circadian assistant is probably useful to have. I'm going to skip out on the circadian half cycler, because that lowers consciousness a bit. But it does make it so you never have to sleep. But uh, it lowers consciousness. Like, why do that when you can just take wake up? You'll, yeah, no, you'll never be in a relationship. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to make? Uh, shadow runners, these are pretty great. I'm going to give everyone one shadow runner. These let you basically have a smoke pop belt that lasts forever inside of you. It's pretty cool. Uh, neuro enhancer, definitely want one of those. Looks like we already have one, so that's cool. Muse chip. Keep one of these around. Uh, Berserker chips all the way at the top. Dermal plating. Definitely want that. Can I add more bills to this one? I can with this one. Okay. Exoskeleton armor. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Combat AI. Also great. This takes an AI Persona core, though, so I'm going to suspend that. Um, not doing muscle wire. Exoskeleton suit. Definitely want one of these. These are great. Protective exoskeleton. What does this do? Sounds cool. I want it. More psionics. Uh, wake up could kill. Not if you have a bionic heart. Literally can't. Um, more psionics. That's not a prosthetics crafting thing. That's We just have to do the ritual for it. And I don't think we can yet. It's still on a cooldown. Um, protective exoskeleton. Tactical bionic eye. I wonder, what, I wonder how that compares to the other ones. All right. Bionic bladder and hygiene enhancer is a must for everyone. So we don't have to use the bathrooms as often. Saves on water. Um, okay, let's see. Anything else here that I wanted to make? I think that's everything. I think that's everything I wanted to make here. Wait. Wasn't there a jump pack spine? Where is that? It's not here. Where's the jump pack spine? It's so crazy good. Oh, whoa, okay, hold on. There's a whole... Whoa, there's all sorts of cool shit here. Neuromuscular framework. Oh. Oh. -ho. Synthetic bone. Sure, synthetic tissue. Oh, is that scar healing? Actually, we don't need scar healing because we can do that in the biosculptor. Wait, no, that... Oh, wait, no, it costs... Never mind, it costs Glitter World Medicine either way. Yeah, we'll just use Bioregenerator then. Uh, neuromuscular Framework. Actually, I think the Neuromuscular Framework... Wait, all of these can work. We can just use the Biosculptor Pod. 
Yeah, never mind. Um, there's a wake up rib. Yo, holy shit. <laughs> Let's get you a wake up rib. All right, blank rib replacement do until you have X. Yeah, the jump pack spine is the one that I'm looking for. Uh, if you install that, you basically have an infinite jump pack. It's pretty OP. What? No, it's getting a little hot in this room. Respiration rib. What? What are all these? These are all new. This is fancy stuff that I've never seen before. Respiration rib works with the diaphragm to assist with the regulating breathing pattern for. Ooh, yes, I like that. Let's do that. Coagulator rib? Yes, please. Cooling rib. Ooh, and a heating rib. How interesting. Heat adaptation is always cool. Uh, these aren't strictly necessary, though, because we're going to have power armor. So I'll, I'll hold on to that. Painkiller rib. Uh, I don't want the drugged rib. That reduces efficiency, even though it gives a bonus to mood. I don't really want to make them. If you guys want them, queue it up for yourself. Medical rib. Pinoxycycline. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. There's new auxiliary AIs. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's cool. All right, agricultural mining, medical diplomatic, sharpshooter and commando and brawler. These are all new. Oh, hell yeah, you know I'm gonna make these. They take these chips though. I don't know how expensive these chips are. What's commando? Wait, it cannot be used with the other auxiliary AI. Oh, okay. So these are only for... Okay, I don't think I actually want these then, because our, our people are already crazy powerful, uh, and these are probably going to be more worth it than these ones. Oh, but that's really cool. That's all pretty cool. All right. Then where do we make the AI chips? Where do we make these MA AI chips? Can we make them at the fabrication bench or something? Oh, there's a jump pack spine. Oh, and you make them MAAI chips here. Okay. Let's suspend that because those are kind of expensive. Oh, and someone dropped a jump pack spine while I was uh, busy figuring that stuff out. Cool. All right, yeah. So I'm going to give Karen a jump pack spine. So he has double jump packs. Oh, wait, no, he's already queued that up. Cool. Uh, then we could switch the armor back from the jetpack one to the prestige one so you get your uh what's it called your psychic bonuses back because you won't need the jetpack armor once you have jetpack spine They kind of, the jetpack stuff does kind of break, search, and destroy though, so uh, I'll have to decide whether I want to keep using it and stuff. Need all the implants. You already have the drug rib, don't you? Yeah, you already have the drugged rib, medical rib, adrenaline rib, and painkiller rib. You already have a lot of these. I think the only implant that we have that you don't have in you already are a couple of the brain ones and then the jump pack spine. I think that's like, I think that's it. 
Also, uh, as far as the brain ones, you don't actually need the neuro calculator because that only increases research speed, but I need that. So I'm gonna, do we have a bionic brain pal? Doesn't look like we have a bionic brain pal. Would anyone be willing to buy me a bionic brain pal so we can research faster? Just that you can get all your fancy toys faster. So trust me, it's worth it. Does Charon have the jump pack spine yet? Yup, jump pack spine. There it is. Thanks, Bear. All right, Bionic Brain Pal. Let's get that in me. Bionic. And then that's going to put my brain out, uh, which will be a little bit disturbing. But hey, don't worry about it. Yeah, still need the tail blade. I know. I'm working on it. I don't know why anyone hasn't gotten to it yet. Um, but let's get these queued up. Um, these have new textures. That's interesting. Um, okay, yeah, some of these are pretty great. I'll unpause the game for you. All right. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Um, but let's start with, okay, so you wanted, hold on, hold on. There's, there's a bunch of different options that you can have. There's a venomous stinger tail. You want to be like a fucking wasp, right? There's, um, The looking for the ones that are actually like the arms. Hold on, where'd the extra dextrous? No, okay. There's the extra dextrous appendage, extra dextrous appendage, which is a really, really good arm, like crazy good. I'm going to be queuing these up for everyone actually, because uh, they're they're that good. Um. So you could have an extra arm on your butt, or you could have a slightly worse, as far as manipulation goes, but much better damage arm on your butt. You could have a armor piercing attack butt arm. Rue, I don't think you're all, are you? No, you have one bionic middle finger. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else? You have a sonic impact mace. I don't know what that is. I think that's an, a disorienting attack that you could have on your butt, of course. Uh, venopillar arm, parotid gland, potent venom and sharp nails. So there's a venom claw arm that you could attach to your butt. Frost mantis hook, which can freeze things. This one, I believe, has lower manipulation than a normal arm, so don't replace your normal arms with this, but uh, you could put this on your butt. Salamander whip. Uh, that's like a fire whip. Also, I think you can put that on your butt. There, here's the ossified bone saber, the one that has like the super deadly attack. The uh, it's, a, it's like, imagine wolverine claws, but you get one and it's way bigger. That's what the ossified bone saber is. And not like, not the adamantium claws, but like, pre-adamantium wolverine so like it's just a bone claw but it's like a really sharp one frost limb for the butt okay if you say so frost mantis hook for the butt hi waf 
Just finished with your laundry? Ah, shit, I have laundry to do too. I should do that after the stream. Uh, okay, and then the reinforced leg is the one that I'm thinking would be a good one, but the Shire Horse leg actually might be uh, even better because this one doesn't actually increase speed, but it does increase carry capacity. Wow, you have a lot of channel points saved up, huh? <laughs> Uh, we have a tri-woven primary heart, which is a better heart. What about glands? Uh, the glands, I'm not really sure where you can install them, so I want to hold off on that a little bit. Regenerative liver, this thing's pretty great. Uh, but right now, I want to just focus on arms out of this thing, because we don't have any of these resources. Like, we don't have any of the protein slag. We do have some nanomechanites, but not a lot. So I want to kind of hold off on that for now trying to move our resources to where it actually matters like arms arms matter a lot and also brains matter so where's the neural hyper threader there it is this thing is going to be important to have possibly even more important than that there we go and then Or is it there's there's a couple of armor based implants that are also really important that I want to grab so uh, let's see the reactive shimmer worms these things let you oh wait no that's really expensive let's hold off on that one uh, psychic resonance tissue we'll save that for later Ross vacuole Lymphatic Proliferator is pretty nice. It blocks most infectious diseases. Um, okay, let's see. Where There's a couple things I'm looking for in particular. Where's the calcium alloy rib cage? I thought I saw it. Cranial plating. There we go. That's an important one. That one is skull armor. Very important for not getting your head shot off. Um, there we go. Calcium alloy rib cage. And then reinforced neck muscles. This one puts plasteel threads in your neck so that you can't get beheaded as easily. Also useful. Uh, let's put these actually below these other ones, though. We need the arms first. All right, there we go. And then there's a couple of different things here. So there's the multi-layer dermal plating. This is just like skin armor, basically. Uh, there's the flame retardant skin, which is what it sounds like. Variable insulation skin. Honestly, probably not that useful because we have power armor and we don't really need that insulation. Let me unpause the game so that vodka gets used. Uh, shimmering skin, which is an aesthetic thing, and radiation absorbing skin, which uh, I will give to Bobo and probably only Bobo uh, so that he can survive nuclear wastelands and also, you know, operate the uh, nuclear reactor like Homer Simpson. Uh, phytoplankton, ooh, phytoplankton skin looks like it might actually be interesting. You might not need to eat if you have that. Uh, but what I'm interested in is the multi-layered dermal plating. This stuff is really good. Uh, but I'll hold off on doing that until after we're done with everything else. You can only have one of those skin things. You can't have them all. So, yeah. And uh, the problem with the nano mechanites thing. Oh, okay, we have a colonist event. All right, so that means uh, gender swap. Okay, so we're getting a gender swap for someone. All right. Hi, Wulongs, by the way. Skill increase. Yeah, I'd prefer a skill increase to a gender swap because it's likely that someone is going to become a man, which I don't want. Because I mean, like, most. I feel like a good portion. At least like 50% of my viewers are uh, trans women. <laughs> so. 
Maybe let's not. I know you're down to be a man bear. But it's only a one in one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's only a one in twelve chance that it'll be you. It's not likely to be you. If you want me to transition you right now, I just I will. But uh it's it's a toss up as to who's gonna get it. Right, multi barrel weapons finished. What's this? Wake up rib implant. If you get swapped again, you're gonna be sad. Detransitioned. Oof. Alright, let's progress on this. Nine more turbine blades. Can we maybe prioritize the turbine blades over all these prosthetics? Age reversal demanded Rue. All right, Rue, let's get you in then. Gender swap, who got it? Wow, holy shit, the luck. Bear, you became a man. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, you won the 1 in 12 chances, and you became a man. Congratulations. All right, Rue, get in. Collins has shield and two-handed weapon. Bobo, why? You utter fool. Why did Shire Horse like not work? It should have worked. It's literally right there. Why is it not working? Yeah, no, I see that. Here, if, since, okay, I'm just gonna trade it as if you bought it. I don't know why it's not working, so we're gonna just, we're just gonna do it. Give me a second to go through the cheat menu. Stuff like this happens sometimes, which is why I leave debug mode on. Let's see what these do before you put it in real quick. All right, um, part efficiency 100%. Wait. It doesn't tell me what it does. Okay, well, Kron, guess what? You're just gonna get them. You're gonna get the legs, and we're gonna see what they do. They're probably gonna make you a little slower. Just so you know. Why can I implant these as a as an arm? I hate that. Well, at the very least, the Shire Horse Leg slowness should um, offset some of the insane speed that you're going to be getting from some other implants I'm going to put into you. So that should be good. You'll still be fast. And then we can put you in Cataphract Armor, too. And then you'll be, like, completely invincible. Slower plus higher carry weight. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it does. But I don't know how much slower. Go Juice fixes the slowness. Yeah. It does. That's why I encourage use of GoJuice, because it's not like a permanent thing that'll slow you down. Well, that'll slow down my computer when we're not in combat. Don't do this at home, kids, but use combat drugs. Use the combat drugs. <laughs> Alright, I have my bionic brain pal. I'm gonna add in a couple of brain implants into me so I can research even faster. Give me a 
we have that learning assistant, neuro calculator, neuro enhancer. All right, and then let's give Kron a wake up rib as well. Can we have go soda? Uh, oh, actually, you know what I do know we can do? We can put go juice as a stock into our meals. That's a thing you can actually do with uh, vanilla cooking expanded or whatever it was. Uh, we can turn go juice into go juice stock and then we can kind of put that into our meals. And then we'll always be on a little bit of go juice. We could do that. It's a little bit uh, further off because we don't have good enough go juice production going yet. Because we just don't have a lot of psychoid leaves. We, we need a few more uh, for berserker chips before I feel good about um, putting them into everyone. Or giving making go juice instead of berserker chips. Also, by the way, I should give myself a berserker chip. So I don't get suppressed. Do we not have it? No, there it is. Install a coagulator as well. No drugs for you. Yeah, we could keep it so that you don't eat the stuff. But I don't think tea, I don't think teetotaler is actually mined, and also you can't get addicted to it if it's just like the go juice stock. It's like a it's like a nerf version of go juice. It's not um it's not like a it's not like you're taking go juice. A slight burning sensation. <laughs> If science juice wasn't just water, what flavor would it be? Well, it's not just water. It's uh, water with an extra radioactive chunk of cobalt-60. All right, have fun being on mobile. Uh, it would be... Yeah, it's like blue raspberry, but a little bit of a burning sensation. A little bit of numbness in your mouth as all the cells in your mouth die from the acute radiation poisoning. And you know what, actually, here's a way to do it. What we can do is we can actually put goju stock into uh, alcoholic drinks. That way, Alcadron won't drink them anyway, because alcohol is also a drug. We could do that. That comes with the downside, though, of having alcohol and also goju. You're mixing uppers and downers, which is already a bad idea, but also it kind of defeats the purpose of goju if you're drunk, because <laughs> that makes you slower. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty large brain idea, but like still not, not perfect. Just put more stuff into my brain. Why did my game slow down all of a sudden? <laughs> Administer a perk 30. <laughs> Hi, Nexon. By the way, Nexon, you died in the last raid. I brought you back because we had an extra Resurrector mech, but, uh... Because I didn't want you to die when you weren't here. But, um, you died in the last Mechanoid raid that completely destroyed us. Killed me, too. <laughs> what, do you want your colonists to be dead? If you want your colonists to be dead, I won't revive them next time. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Oh, great. How 
How much do I ha OD on beer? Oh god, you can't die directly from a beer OD. If you want to die, use like wake up. Oh fucking god, please no. <laughs> no, not again. No, not again. Uh, not again, not another. Not another coma next on. No. Next on coma. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, put a little makeup. I don't know the lyrics. Oh, different song. Okay. <laughs> Use like a hundred at once. You'll get like a guaranteed heart attack. And then we won't save you. If you want to die of an overdose, go for it. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. 200. Okay, yeah, death. Next on crucify. Well, holy shit. I guess we're going to have to have a funeral for next on then. What the fuck? <laughs> Drug overdose major. That insta killed you. Wow. I have something to complain about with it. Capitalism for the chat. Go for it. Next on calling straight about to straight up disappear. Bro, with <laughs> with all that wake up, Nexon unlocked the secrets of the universe just then. Like became so awake. The, the secrets of the universe were revealed to him and he just died. He just decided, I am no longer of this plane, and then died. His physical form, gone. Alright, we're gonna have to have a funeral. Where do we keep the coffin? You know, we should... Here's what we can do. We can deconstruct Nexon's biosculptor pod, and then put the coffin right there. Wait, why'd you remove body modder? Burn your body? I'm okay. Uh, I don't know how the funeral works. I have to wait till I'm up. Cheers. Oh God, ten beers, bear. You're. You know, drinking ten beers is going to instantly knock you out. Oh, for forty-five hours, you're not even gonna make it to the funeral. You want to share your food with someone else? Pay us. Oof. They charge you to split an entree? What the fuck? Oh my god. Your pawn has been too cooperative lately. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next, I'm the only person to kill their Collins just to come back as a different one. Okay. Maximizing coin use. Alright. Uh, okay, I'm back up. Let's do... Where do we do the funeral? Oh, you know what? I think the funeral has to be done at a coffin. All right, let's let's get that. Uh, where would it be? Miscellaneous? Sarcophagus. Uh, Nexon is going to get a chitin sarcophagus. It is made of bugs. From the bugs you came and to the bugs you shall return. Once we bury you, we'll uh, burn your body. Yeah, Bear will miss the funeral because uh, the body's going to rot. Because it's kept in a warm room. You're just going to sleep forever. Actually, hold on. Funeral pyre. Can we do this? Can we just can we just do a funeral pyre? That way we could actually just burn you. Also, what kind of gear do you have on you? It's all tainted. Jesus, fuck. All right, you know what? That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you should have waited a little bit longer. Don't just drink 10 beers. You're blackout drunk for 43 hours. You know, I don't think one serving, one RimWorld serving of beer is actually one bottle of beer. I think it's, it might be more. <laughs> Can we just eat Nexon? 
<laughs> Rue hears there's a body. <laughs> Do you want to eat Nexon, guys? Community vote, are we eating Nexon's body? Show me the body. The body's right there. Nexon's body is right there. Do we want to eat? Okay, what's the vote? So we have we have two, three, okay, three votes for eat Nexon. All right. Uh, okay, one vote against, three votes for, one against. Absorb his power, I'm gonna take that as a fourth vote for yes. This goes against my will. Okay, two votes for no. <laughs> Four votes for yes, two votes for no. <laughs> you dead, you have no will. <laughs> Look up. Are you gonna resurrect yourself just to not get eaten? <laughs> no, if you're gonna go that far, we'll just burn you. Build complete. Make turbine blades. <gasps> Finally! Nuclear reactor time. Come on, guys. Nuclear reactor time. Please. Use next one! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we'll just burn you. We'll, we'll burn you on the funeral pyre. Do we even have enough wood to make a funeral pyre? Yeah, okay, we do. Doesn't seem like anyone wants to build it because everyone wants to eat. Everyone wants to eat Nexon. Okay, there we go. Alcatron didn't want to eat Nexon and therefore started that. Um, bills. Perform a ritual of. Wait. Form a ritual of passage. Nah, ritual of death. All right. Next on me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ironwood is just one word. Uh, wait, that doesn't count as a fucking funeral. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna keep that there. Uh, let's build our little chitin sarcophagus. We'll have the funeral there. We'll bury Nexon, dig up the body, funeral pyre it. And then we can... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Mental illness. Wait, 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 no, 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 Bobo, Bobo, stop, 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 stop. Nope. Okay, we're not burning it yet. We have to have the funeral so that our people aren't, like, super sad. Colonist says shield and melee weapon. Drop the damn shield, then. Why do they keep picking up the shield? Destroy the shield. There we go. <laughs> Look up, Nexon. Alright, come on. Who's gonna build the coffin? Alcatron's gonna build the coffin. Alright. Tomb. This is now a tomb. All right, assign colonist. Nexon. All right. How do we perform the funeral? Awoken funeral. How do I perform the funeral? Oh, wait, I think we have to bury him first. We perform the funeral in my room, trust me. <laughs> Definitely. All right, begin the funeral. Moral guide present. Well, what, do you, what the fuck do you mean? The moral guide is right here. Wait. Oh, wait, no, we can't have the thing because Bear is fucking wasted as hell. We can't do it for another 38 hours because Bear is our moral guide. <laughs> We can't even hold the funeral without you. <laughs> no one's allowed in, though. Oh, my God. I'll bury his body later. Yeah. The fucking bones. 
Not even the not even whole. You crack them open to get at the bone marrow. So when is this gonna get built? Come on guys, let's get it built. Is there a way you can wake bear up? Uh healer mech serum? May wait, no. We already tried that on Nexon, it didn't work. Do you want me to manually wake up bear? I can I can do it with cheats. I, I need I need verbal confirmation. Yes, please. Done. You're awake. All right, let's do it. Begin the funeral. All right, people. Life after death? There is none. Death and family. Talked about death. Talked about the concept of a good life. Nexon spent a whole year blacked out. <laughs> death is a pact of dignity. Describe beginnings and endings. All right, good awoken funeral. Cool, let's exhume the corpse. For all we know, it doesn't work with 500,000 or 50,000 hours of blackout. No, it does not. All right, deconstruct. Funeral pyre. All right. We're respecting Nexon's wishes. Gonna burn, burn the body. There you go. Bill complete, perform the ritual of death. And let's just deconstruct it. <laughs> Okay, there you go. You're dead. Nexon is dead. We may be cannibals, but we're not savages. We don't eat our own. We eat other people. We do not eat friends. Uh, I think... Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why can't you buy Luciferium? Let me reconnect Toolkit. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, try again. A lot of us want to, but we have we have to have a moral code sometimes. Exactly. Look, our moral compass may be screwed up, but we still have one. Okay, we don't we draw the line at eating friends. We eat our enemies to gain their power. <laughs> but we we don't eat our friends. There you go. I don't know what the hell was up with toolkit, but now you can buy Luciferium. New Nexon? Alright. We have a new Nexon who is, what the fuck? A skeleton? Oh shit, Skel Rob <laughs> Do you want me to call him that? Actually, no, hold on, no, 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 no. Nexon, your title shall be Roboner. There you go. You are Nexon the Roboner of Banging Halls. Here, actually, let's just add that here. Row boner. Oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> You'll just be next on row boner. There you go. Congratulations. Removed coward. Okay. Uh, you have pessimist, asexual, and kind. Uh, do you want to do anything in particular? now? Like, you want me to change up your passions and shit? Uh-oh. 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 Where's my UI? Where's my UI? Where's my UI? Where'd my UI go? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where'd my UI go? 
Where'd my UI go? <laughs> Next on, what did you do to my UI? <laughs> my UI is gone. What have you, <laughs> what have you done to my UI? <laughs> ah! <laughs> my UI. <laughs> Next on the row, boner boned my goddamn computer. <laughs> oh my god, Omega lull. Holy shit. <laughs> Next on killed my UI. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Get robo nerd. All right, that's gonna have to become an emote. Get roboned. have to god if i load this and the ui is gone i swear i'm gonna fucking lose it if the ui is still gone <laughs> what would it look like it's just gonna be a little rimworld skeleton head it's gonna be nexon's little skeleton head what the fuck medical what the fuck K-Ron is dead. What? Huh? What the fuck? What happened to my game? Ah! What happened to my game? Why is Nexon dead? What the fuck did you do? Nexon, what did you do? My game is broken. <laughs> what the fuck happened? It's, it's constantly spamming the medical emergency, so it's like, it's all stacked up right here. That's what that sound is. Kron is somehow just dead? Out of, what the fuck just happened? Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you just bought a pawn, but uh, fucking Nexon Roboner just decided that's enough of this world and then just erased it. I think it might be the performance uh, optimizer mod that I installed a while ago that uh, hides certain UI elements. Could be that. But I'm not actually sure. Let me double check real quick. I'm looking at the workshop page right now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to turn that off and hopefully, hopefully that fixes it. Yeah, the entire UI, the whole thing, just gone. <laughs> what the fuck? Removing the trait of coward make a row boner row hard. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Okay, I'll take a stretch break. Oh my fucking god. Unbelievable. Is my... Oh yeah, computer's toasty. It does sound like a good time to stretch. As soon as soon as Ro as soon as Roboner's fucking cowardice was removed, he decided that he's becoming a god today. And is going to destroy the simulation in which he lives. <laughs> Roboner's a chaos mage. Roboner, in fact, actually just freed all of the uh, the entire colony from my control. That's what happened. Jesus, it's really hot in this room. Hold on. Let me... It's probably not any colder outside. So opening of... Opening a vent will not help. I don't... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Roboner <laughs> dream.
to free Charon from existence. <laughs> which, which had a dream speech as this? MLK, Giorno Giovanna, or uh, Stephen Armstrong? <laughs> I'm going to say Stephen Armstrong. <laughs> Made Space America great again. Oh, MLK? Okay. <laughs> uh, chaos made robo owner. <laughs> yeah, next time, uh, once, once I load in, or actually, whenever I figure out what the hell happened to my game, when you add in robo owner next time, he's getting the title, uh, He's getting the title Chaos Mage. It came through with those nano machines. <laughs> yeah. Nano machines, son. I need to get like a like a like a Go XLR kind of thing so I can put a little filter over my voice, make it sound robotic. For now I'm gonna have to go with the cup. Nano machine, son. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Wow. Oh wait. Nano machine, son. Can you hear it? Can you hear the bottle? Nano machine, son. A robot owner destroyed the universe by thrusting the simulation into disaster. Yep. He thrust it and the game broke. Yep. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember some Blade Wolf lines. Some funny Blade Wolf lines. My handler is a white woman. <laughs> I am never eating peanut butter again. <laughs> Those are definitely lines from Blade Wolf, like the, from the actual game, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Definitely not from Maxor. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Prepare to die, Raiden. Aw, oh, but you're just a little puppy whoppy. You want a Scooby snack? Popular misconception, I am not a canine. <laughs> no! Man, RimWorld's taking its time. RimWorld is really taking its time reloading. Seems like Roboner might have really done a number on it. The Chaos Mage. Yeah, RimWorld do be initializing, though. Oh, toolkit core connected. That's a good sign. Puts the nut in peanut butter. Ew. <laughs> also, uh, guys, now's a good time to check. Is my volume, like, is it too high, too low? Is it just right? Because OBS is telling me my volume's too high, but I don't actually know uh, how it compares. You guys think it's good? Does this volume sound about right? Because uh, last time, when I listened to myself... Uh, talking into these settings. It sounded kind of gainy, you know, like really a little bit distorted. It's fine. All right, if you say so. 
I really need to get better dampening for this room. Uh, like, I, I have wood floors in here. And there's nothing on the walls. So, there's probably a good amount of, like, echo. I mean, I try and reduce it, but there's still probably a good amount of echo. Maybe it's picking up the webcam mic? No, it's not picking up the webcam mic. I'm pretty sure it's picking up off of the, the mic mic. Gotta get those for shitty 40 to $45 sound things. Yeah, those uh, acoustic foam panels. Yeah, I need to hang those up all over the walls. I don't think my webcam even has a mic. Actually, no, no, it does, it does. Yeah, it's it's going through the mic mic. I can tell for sure because uh, the brand, the brand name uh, shows up in its input. So yeah, let's turn, okay, actually no, let's keep auto open on. Let's load our game. Wait. Oh, we can, no, no, no. We did change the load order. That's why we're initiating. Just have a board thing in behind your PC. It doesn't do that much, but it works, kind of. I think in my case, there's enough wires directly behind my PC that it dampens the sound. Like, it is a mess back there. <laughs> but it does work. At least somewhat. It does sound different to when I didn't have those wires back there. Autism blankets work, but I need my autism blankets. I need my autism blankets to sleep. I don't want to put them up on my walls. <laughs> yeah, like the weighted blankets. I have two that I wear, that I have both at the same time. I, I really need a hug. Yeah, the autism blanket. Not on your wall, They're just like on my bed. They're, they are on my bed. They can make your autism worse, yeah. That doesn't work for everyone. Uh, okay, no, it's still broken. What the fuck? Roboner strikes again. Yeah, uh, a lot of null refs. I think it might have to do with the colonist. Kaeron is still dead here for some reason. Okay, let's load up the last save. Let's load up the autosave. Uh, we may have to deal with a robe owner. No, by the time it gets to that point, it's already too late. I literally can't do anything about it because my UI that I'd use to deal with robe owner is gone. I can't do anything. So we're going to have to like load up from before. Yeah, I'm loading an older save here. That save is gone. The chaos mage has thoroughly destroyed it. And also now we know it's not the UI mod. Because it, I didn't see it do anything before. Yeah, Robe Owner boss battle. It's a boss battle between my actual self and my computer. I have to, like, punch it. Like, ride and punch his arms, Armstrong. Robe Owner has that mod menu open. You might... This might still be after you drank. I don't know when this autosave is. Yeah, no, this is right before we buried Charon. <laughs> You're still drunk. Let me fix that. Yeah, you're dead now. All right, guys, come on, funeral time. Now this time, Nexon, don't bring in, don't bring in Robe Owner quite so quickly. I want to do a save after the funeral and after your body is gone. I was thinking, yeah, it might have to do with a Skelly Pond, but it could also have to do 
Um, no, we don't. Uh, this this calls for some more testing. I'm going to don't don't do it until I say it's good to go. But I'm going to make a save after Nexon's funeral, and like after we get the stuff kind of figured out, right? And then we then we can add in. Um, we can add in Roboner. We still have no idea what killed Kron. It could be something different entirely, and that could be what was causing the errors. So we have to make sure to remove all the variables. Racially motivated. This is why Roboner had a dream. <laughs> yeah, the chaos magic could be coming from a different source, though. We're not sure that it's Ro. We're not sure that it's Roboner. All right. So we have to be sure that it was Roboner. It could be Charon's handling of the corpse. Could be any number of things. All right. So we need to we need to test and find out what exactly it was because this is this is the scientific method guys right we form our hypothesis but we also have to remove extra variables right then we make our procedure and then we go through with it all right i'm going to make sure that he drops the chem fuel you can instruct that all right Kron, what are you doing Making nuclear fuel rods, chaos magic could happen here. Because he did die right there. Alright, no, still good. Is anyone keeping notes? Probably should be keeping notes. I'm not, so it's kind of bad science. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on Kron as well. We're going to keep an eye on Kron for the moment. Right? Okay, let's see. We have to make sure that it's not the nuclear fuel rod that kills him, because that could be a thing too. Don't buy the, don't buy another robot yet. Roboner should be a perfectly fine name, because I think I've had dashes and names before, and it didn't cause anything bad. Uh, but that's another variable we can test. But first, we need to make sure that it's not the nuclear fuel rod that kills. Kron, because that is a possibility. There could be some incompatible mod with uh, Rim Atomics that's screwing it all up. Let me check if nuclear fuel rods can even go in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Nuclear waste manufactured. Yeah, nuclear fuel isn't allowed in here. Okay, Kron. Yeah, definitely a good mix. Drugs and nuclear fuel. Definitely a very good mix. All right, where is it going? It's just going on the floor. All right, let's make sure that... Okay, putting down the nuclear fuel rod did not kill Kron, so I don't think it's the nuclear fuel rod. Okay, I'm going to make a save. Saving. Okay, next on, bring in Roboner. Summon him. Summon Roboner. Look at that, it's fucking wild. You can see the biome changing. biome is slowly becoming an extreme desert let me do some cult shit may god protect your save <laughs> yes thank you viewer joins all right we have a different skeleton robe owner okay i'm gonna draft him 
because I saw null refs involving generating the pawn image. Okay, turning him around is fine. Right. Okay. Okay. Here, here's the thing. So last time, remember how it was just the nickname? There was nothing else. I think that might have to do with the errors. So I'm going to change this. All right. This is Robo Owner Two. All right. Nothing's breaking quite yet. All right. What do you fucking mean, a woken funeral expected? We literally just did it. No. We literally just did it. I don't know what the fuck the problem with that was. Let's try something. Buy trait coward. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Although it could be, it could be that actually removing the coward trait might do something. All right, you got the coward trait. Good idea, Nexon. Let's try it. Mm, nope. Didn't seem to do it. I don't think it's the coward trait. Coward trait does change the UI behavior, so I thought maybe, but doesn't look like it's going to do it. It could also just be that one particular skeleton model, because you're a different skeleton model now. You're uh, now like the P4. You're like the Catlon model. And before you were like the the one of the loading screen models. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're all right. I hope this is. I hope the retired part is true. Retired Chaos Mage of Banging Halls. I sure hope. I <laughs> yearn for the boner model. The boner model that fucking kills my computer. Alright, we have a large sculpture. Uh, let's give that... Oh, wait, no, we don't want to give it to Rue because Rue is an uh, aesthetic. Uh, you know what? Congratulations, Barry. You have a new sculpture. So it's canon that Nexon has died twice. Yes. Can, can it? Can, Nexon's died several times, actually. I don't remember how many times, but I've resurrected Nexon at least twice. Hold on, let's, let's change all this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I freaked out there for a moment. Um, here. Nexon Roboner 2. That's your that's your pawn's name. Died permanently twice. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm just built different. <laughs> Nexon is just built different. Roboner killed himself in the colony by merely existing. Yeah, Roboner 1. Roboner 1 erased existence. You dare kick me into retirement. <laughs> your KD ratio goes strong. Yeah, your KD ratio is like three to literally the entire universe. <laughs> uh, 
that's a pretty cool effect. How the uh, the map changes biome, like tile by tile, slowly from the outside in, slowly becoming an extreme desert. Very cool. All right. Cold snap. All right. Come on, turbine. As soon as this turbine's built, we can actually start a nuclear reactor. We have two fuel rods. I want, I actually, I kind of want to wait till we have nine fuel rods. So that way we can actually start making a decent amount of power. Skill trainer? Okay. Um, oh dear. Alright, um... Oh, hey, Hersher, welcome back. You just missed the saga of Nexon completely destroying my entire save game. <laughs> it was great. It was fucking amazing. Oh, wait, now... Now they want one around an empty grave. Well, you know what? Let's get the double mood boost. Sure, why, why the hell not? Oh wait, did I just cancel? Okay, no, I didn't. Good. <laughs> it's funny, Robe Owner's probably not gonna end up attending the funeral for Nexon. Because he alone knows that Nexon is not truly gone. Is he gonna make it last minute? last minute there we go hold on I have to check do they oh skeletons don't sleep they do eat though which is odd they don't do that in Kenshi The Robe Owner Saga began and ended within the same minute. <laughs> True. For some reason, robots still need to piss, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, so that was that. Let's see. Uh, what was I going to do before the whole Robe Owner Saga happened? I don't even remember. For working on nuclear reactor stuff. Right. I'm just gonna let you know, changing your race, like, manually has dire consequences. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it can fuck you up pretty bad. I would recommend against it. Would've been cool to know that this was before you made your pawn, but oh well, yeah. Sorry about that. Um. I want to find out if it's possible to just make it so you can use skill trainers directly instead of having to drop them and having to have me 
do everything. Um, uh, Can use. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to try and figure this out. Um. Aha. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Try it now. Someone someone try using a skill trainer. Robdsm. <laughs> what? Robdsm? Oh god. This may be listed as an 18 plus stream, but let's not like push it too far. <laughs> Holy shit, it works. Is it giving you skills? Oh, it's working. Yes! Okay, I don't have to manually fucking use skill trainers anymore. You guys can do it for me. There you go. You can use, use your skill trainers to your heart's content. 450 melee skill trainers. Fucking go for it. You still have only 99 melees somehow. Oh, wait, no. Nope, okay, nope, there you go. Holy shit. Alright, there's... There go those levels. <laughs> Alright guys, have fun. Hold on, give it a moment to save. <laughs> Alright, um... You're using more? Oh my god. You know, you do get diminishing returns, like quite a bit of diminishing returns. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is a good way to get rid of your coins. Okay. I can't even keep up with chat with all the my pawn skills and shit going through. There's so much shit going on. I don't know what next I'm saying based in response to. I hope it was based. We have. Okay, we have the four basic AI chips. Why is it not getting built? The, the fuck? They're right here. We have four of them. Oh, let's set up Roboner's priorities as well. Let's see, what are you good at right now? Oh, you're good at breaking prisoners. Yes. Top priority. That is your top priority right there. All right, uh, looks like you're also good at plant cutting, so let's get you on that. Uh, let's do that. Should be good for your priorities. I don't know if you're actually affected by nuclear stuff, so we're going to have you do that.
Okay, that should be good. Robot are about to ask the people how they got their name. <laughs> Hot robots. Also, keep in mind, you don't want to be too crazy with your spending, because I did change the uh, karma limit back to 100. Oh, okay, we got a raid event. Shit, I forgot. Robo Owner doesn't have a fucking good weapon. He only has a Glock. Nah, that's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it these days. Why do we have limestone clubs? The fuck are these doing here? Hold on, we've got a lot of guns here. Uh, which one do we want to give? Big raid drop? Wow, okay. You guys really want to kill me then, huh? Fair enough, we could we go with that. Um, okay, for now, Robo Hunter gets a charge rifle. We'll change that to something more interesting in a moment. Alright, big raid drop it looks like. Declare my nine against the oppositions. Critical counter response. Yeah, Bear, you don't spend anything. You you literally never spend your money. <laughs> I've seen you do it like once. Oh fuck, you got a Persona Zeus Hammer? Okay, sure. Well that... Whew, okay, let's see, what does it do? This one... Kill Sorrow! Oh no, this thing's... Oh, this thing is horrible! This weapon's Persona hates killing? If this weapon kills someone, its sorrow will transmit psychically to the wielder, reducing their mood for a few days. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> that is actual garbage. Hold on. Let me get you a better one. You, you, you deserve better than that. Oh, okay. I mean, if you wanted to buy another one by yourself, go ahead. Fine by me. Okay. Uh, Persona Zeus Hammer. Looks like it's going to land there. Unending March. They're landing right in here. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, Persona Zeus Hammer. Let's check this one. Psychic Fog. This weapon suppresses the wielder's psychic sensitivity by 30%. Uh, free wielder. Okay, sure. Robo Owner, that's yours. Alright, because you have a Persona fucking Zeus Hammer, you're going to go right in the doorway. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we should save that for someone with a shield belt. You'll go right behind the doorway. Rue, get in there. Hersher, get in there. Hey, you fuckers. Why is our pedigreed raptor in there? That poor thing's gonna die. Yep, it's dead. I am not surprised. Shield belt. All right. Uh, someone lost their shield belt. Search and destroy Rue. Whoa, what the fuck's that? Oh, wait, I think that was just a Glock. They have a Techist battle rifle out there. Nice. Oh, you fucking destroyed my drug lab? You... You motherfuckers, I'm gonna kill you. You've just lost your right to live. 
fleeing. No, no, you, you don't get to. Hey, what the fuck? You just stole my nano assembler? You little shit. Come on, get their asses. Get their asses. Get their asses. Yeah! All right, we did it. Sick. All right. Let's do our little repairs. Having a party? All right. Five thousand skill trainers to get cooking to four twenty. <laughs> Marine armor for Nexon. What's it made of? Hemp bio composite. All right. I mean, we. I think we have better power armor, but we don't have enough of it, so that is a bonus for sure. non-lethal weapons don't know why we researched that honestly why bother a lot of cooking neuro trainers hold on I wonder can I make a nano mechanite slurry out of can I make it out of androids no I can't okay why can't you have a 69 level trait I mean, do you want it to... He, look, it's hard to get it manually there with skill trainers. But if you want me to have... If you want to have 69 trait, I can just do that. Since you're above it. I can. I don't mind lowering your trait levels. <laughs> I, I don't think you can do that math, Bear. Because it's like... Unless you've done like logarithms and stuff, which I kind of doubt. Cataphract helmet from Nexon? Cataphract armor. Okay, you want cataphract armor? Got it. Can you even... Wait. It's not that great. We'll, we'll make better stuff in a minute. Cannot wear it. Why not? Oh, ha! That's kind of funny. Can you not wear helmets because you're a skeleton? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Skeletons can't wear helmets. Oh, that's funny. It's just like Kenshi. Skeletons can't fucking wear helmets. Oh, that's funny. That is so funny. Wow. Boo. Yeah. 
That's really funny. Too hard for these peasantry helmets. <laughs> it's just like Kenshi. I have no idea what world this is a 1911 in. It's not a 1911. My god, you guys are really going crazy with the uh, skill trainers now, huh? You're, you should still be wearing human leather stuff. I don't think your gear reflects it. Actually, no, uh, just the backpack. Because human leather is actually garbage as armor. Like, do you, like, especially because you're a melee combatant, it's really important to have good armor. Flak pants? You know, you can't wear flak pants and power armor at the same time. Bloodlust should give more mood boots. Yeah, it does, but you're going to die. Duster for Charon. We already have human leather dusters, if you want that. You miss the rage. Look, Rue. Okay, if you really want me to, I'll put it on, but you know, you are much more likely to die wearing a human leather duster versus the powered recon armor we're going to be giving you in a moment. Oh yeah, we should check uh, what the Shire Horse likes to do. Shire Horse legs. Uh, carry capacity plus 5, max HP up. It doesn't look like they actually lower your movement speed. Or does it? I don't see it. I don't see it doing that. It doesn't say it's efficiency 100%, so yeah. Okay, cool. Shire horse legs it is then. Shire horse legs are perfectly allowed, people. If anyone wants leg implants, uh, shire horse legs are allowed. Because they don't increase your speed, but they do increase your carry capacity and leg health. So, yeah. Perfectly allowed. You are good to go with shire horse legs. So I'm actually going to queue these up in here because I, now that I know that they're safe to use, more or less, I'm going to give everyone Shire Horse legs. Where are they? There you are. There we go. ETA on your tail. Uh, still waiting for someone to make the refined proteins. I don't know why no one's doing it. I, I can't estimate the time if no one's actually working on it. It's all queued up. We have the technology and everything. It's just no one's bothering to do it. Because we're all busy with so much other stuff. Force you to? Okay. Once you're done with this fuel rod. No mod for the RGB katana. So I did post in uh, one of the channels. I'm not sure which one. Uh, I did post about the Metal Rim Rising mod. So it does exist, but it's not compatible with Combat Extended. So it's not 
it doesn't work basically it, it might if we're unlucky it'll do the same thing as the cryo katana and rip off your arms every time you try and use it if we are lucky it'll do nothing like zero damage nothing uh so i don't know if or when a combat extended patch is going to come out for it because the devs for it seemed or at least people in the comments and i think also the devs seem to think that combat extended is overrated uh which i guess yeah probably it is but i do like it um the uh what was it what was i gonna say uh but the mod i did test it does not work it doesn't have any damage values i haven't done i haven't done combat testing yet <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm stretching a little. I haven't actually tested it in combat yet, but it doesn't have any armor penetration or damage stats listed at all, which means it's probably incompatible. Uh, I even tried using the, what's it called? The combat extended auto patcher, didn't fix it. So it, it doesn't work. No RGB sword, unfortunately. Um... I had an idea, but I don't think it would work. I was thinking I could get, I could get you kind of close. If you want a sword that can deflect bullets, um, we can get you a virtuous treaty. It's the sword from uh, Near Automata. It's Two B's sword. It's pretty cool. It's not the RGB sword, but it's it's close. Also, does get wielded by a uh, white-haired robot with a fat ass and a blindfold. So, I mean. Pretty close. <laughs> um, what was I looking for? Protein slag. Okay, we are not allowing protein slag in here. Protein slag is allowed down here. There we go, because it is a perishable thing. Uh, nano mechanites go here. And not here there we go yeah virtuous treaty is a big huge katana plasma sword is not looking katana like yeah i know it's not as good as the plasma sword i'll let you know but it does have an amazing defense i was going to give one to bear but you could get priority on it uh let's see i think i even have it queued up Oh, wait, no, I don't. Virtuous Treaty, do one times. Only out of adamantium. Okay, Kron is doing his thing. Finding the protein. How much do we have right now? How much protein slag do we have? 225. That is enough for... Which... Wait, Kron, which one did you want again? Which oh frost mantis hook that's right. Okay, I think we can make it. Make the frost mantis hook. Do we have? Oh no! Did all of our nano mechanites go bad? Oh fuck! No, really? Ah. Uh, okay, it looks like we might need nano mechanites. Also, it looks like it might take medical skill to make them. So I'll I'll be the one who does that then. Okay, I'm gonna clear your prioritized work. Uh I'll type it in chat. There you go. If you wanna buy some. Yeah, nano machine, son. They hardened in response to physical trauma. 500. Okay, yeah, that's like a lifetime supply. Let's get that hauled. All right. Let's do it. Let's make that frost mantis hook. Smoke leaf joints. Sick. Okay. 
Who needs nano machines when you have that base RVG katana? <laughs> the rope owner experience. All right, let's get you that uh fucking frost pincer tail thing. All right, come on. Boom! There we go. Your prioritized work. Frost Mantis Hook is going straight into Kron's tailbone. I was about to say butt cheeks, but that uh, that implies something different. <laughs> tailbone. There you go. Now I haven't tested the Frost Venom Hook in um, or Frost Mantis Hook in combat, so be warned. If it, it might cause chaos magic. I don't know. I'm hoping it won't. Who's poor pawn in a relationship with your crazy ass? Yeah. Oh, I have to make sure that um, the Virtuous Treaty doesn't get smelted if we make one. Okay, good. Wait, what the fuck did I just do? There we go. Do we have a Virtuous Treaty yet? I gotta clear out this stuff here. Okay. Uh, Kron's gonna be busy with that. Okay, Alcadron. Make. Wait, cannot make it. Need material. What do we need? Oh, probably like. Stable oil or something, right? Wait, how much of it do we need, though? Oh, we need 50 gilded plasteel. Do we? Oh, I guess we don't have that much, huh? Okay. Oh, we are 10 short. Okay. Persona Monosaur, do you want that, Nexon? Is that for you? Kill sorrow. God damn it. Do you want to grab a different one? This one's like actually garbage. You want to see if better? I mean, this the persona is what matters on these things. As far as damage, this thing is um, not very good against blunt. Yeah. Let me let me check the armor penetration damages though. Let's let's find out real quick because the armor penetration values might be different and so like the base might be different Okay, wow Okay, the Zeus hammer is yeah, Zeus hammer is better. Zeus hammer is way better. Holy shit Thanks for the plasteel We have plenty of gold to make the gilded plasteel with. Let's suspend the adamantium and just make some more of that stuff. Okay, another Persona Zeus hammer, normal quality. You know, I'm pretty sure we can make these. Uh, we have a mod that allows us to make these. I don't know if we have the... Um, uh, I don't know if we have the tech yet, but we do have the mod. Psy meditative. So Evans Persona is naturally meditative. And yeah, this isn't... The one that you have is better than this one. I mean, it's not like we can just make them f for easy or for cheap. But we can make them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here we go. Persona Zeus Hammer. 
That's we have so much shit to make like it's not gonna get made for a long time So buying stuff is worthwhile, but still uh, It's We can make them Four jeez They're all normal quality. Why are they all normal? Okay, this one's kill focused. That one's probably good. That one's actually really good. Okay, so that that's good I'm gonna forbid it because it's good This one fear maker fast mover 15% faster as long as the weapon is held. That's also potentially good This one kind thoughts kill happy, okay Kind thoughts. This weapon's persona is kind of supportive. Uh-huh. Kill happy. This weapon's persona loves to kill. If this weapon kills someone, it's joy. It will transmit cyclically to the wielder. Making... Okay, this one could be great. This one's really good. Deathbreaker. Fast mover. Okay, these two are both fast movers. These ones are all pretty good, actually. Gotta say. Yeah, Nexon's fucking hammer collections. Getting too close to your katana addiction. What if we fuse them all together? That's not a thing you can do. <laughs> okay, these ones are all good. Uh, Debt Maker. This one, I'm gonna sell. Chaos Ender, I'm gonna sell. Because they're not very good. Alright, how many fuel rods do we have? Five? Let's actually just check right here. We have six. I don't know where the sixth one is. Oh, wait, no, we have six. I just missed one down here. Okay. Tattered apparel. Who is wearing tattered apparel? And why? Why are you wearing tattered apparel? I'm not forcing you to wear tattered apparel, am I? So why are you wearing it? Oh, wait, I didn't set anyone. Aha, here we go. You're not allowed to wear tattered apparel. Luciferium, thank you very much. Oh, you're really going to run yourself right out of money. Kron Tailbone you have the butt arm now congratulations uh, while you're out. Let's get you a couple more things installed um, Let's see learning assistant sure exoskeleton armor dermal plating Aesthetic shaper I think that's it yeah, that's all. Okay. Let's get that all in you. Become Uber Charon. Um, let's see. We're still waiting on prestige helmets. Did we make the Virtuous Treaty yet? Nope. Come on, people. Make the Gilded Plasteel. What's the muscle thing? You mean... Wait. The muscle wire. Remember, that was the limb replacement. And it's not good. It's kind of garbage, actually. Compared to all the stuff that you have. Muscle wire is not that great. Berserk chip? Okay, berserk chip is really good. It makes it so that you're like completely unsuppressible. So with combat extended, when you're getting shot at, um, your characters can get suppressed. You know, like suppressing fire kind of suppressed. So um, the berserker chip makes it so that you can't get suppressed. So no matter how much you're getting shot at, you'll still stay up and keep shooting. Uh, which is dangerous, but it's also very good. Um, any more ribs to install? No. I will, okay, I'll get you the Berserker chip. We have them being made, so you can get one. 
No problem. Uh, actually, before that, we should get him a bionic brain pal. Next time, buy yourself a bionic brain pal first. It's like a whole brain replacement. I don't think it's supposed to be, but it is. Um, but it, like, it gives you a boost to consciousness. And if I, like, if I implant stuff into your brain and then implant a bionic brain pal later, it'll, like, remove all the other stuff. So get the bionic brain pal, then I'll install your berserker chip. I don't know if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, then, uh, I don't know, beg. <laughs> Quad brain processor. I, I haven't tested that at all. I don't even know how to make those. I'm not starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> All right, muscle parasites. Oh shit, we're running out of power. Why are we running out of power? Wait, seriously, why are we running out of power? Why now? Quad brain processor. So what? That's not... That is not an implant. That's a research assistant. <sighs> okay, well, I'll install it so our research goes faster. Okay, the bionic brain pal actually goes in your brain. Okay, um... Oh, he's counted as an android. Why are there two separate operations for this? It's really odd. I don't know if I can put in a Berserker chip. But the Brain Pal I can do. Um, what I could try doing is I could instead make maybe one of these kind of things. Um, soldier upgrade. Is that... We'll see if that lets you. One man army of Prage. Okay, sure, if you want Luciferium. I'll have to make a thing for Luciferium. A drug policy. Yeah, sure. We'll allow recreational Yayo. say take two to your inventory just to be safe all right and then luciferium there you go yes birth control you can have kids in this i have a i have a birth mod vx3 neural chip oh that's actually really good thanks for dropping that i was going to make one but um these things are kind of difficult uh you do need glitter world medicine to install it do we have any of that? No, we don't have any Glitter World Medicine, so we'll have to wait till we have some of that. But once we have Glitter World Medicine, we can uh, install that into you. Luciferium Addiction. We're going to need a lot more than just 20 Luciferium, I think. Glitter World Meds. All right. 
Let's do it. Where's the VX3? There it is. So what the VX3 neural chip allows you to do is it lets you um, control surrogate bodies, uh, which are like robot bodies that are remote controlled. So you can kind of become like a force multiplier. Um, normally it knocks you out when you do that though. So it might not be preferable for Kron, but I'll, I'll install it since you want it. I know though that there is a way that you can not get knocked out by it, but I'm not sure how that mechanic works. So it's hard to say. Like I had uh, someone in my test world uh, who could control robots while still being like awake. Uh, I don't know why. Might have to do with the fact that she was an immortal, but so is Kron. So if we're lucky, we can get Kron to also be an immortal and be able to control robots all at once. Okay, looks like we did a little damage, but we got the brain pal in. Let's not administer loose firm since you're already on it. Oh, you got it for Nexon. Okay, um, canceled. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. That requires 12. Okay, no, we need 12 advanced nano kits or 12 glitter world medicine. Either way, it's not in. It's not in. It didn't get put in because we didn't have enough medicine to do it anyway. I, it's not in. God, what? what is the stream delay? Hydrate? Okay. It's not in. Oh my god. Guys, chill the fuck out. Save your game. Okay. Yeah, de the delay is real. I mean, also, I'm... Because I'm, like, looking at the game. I'm not looking enough at the chat, but I know... Like, I, I wouldn't have gone in. <laughs> FBI, open up! FBI opened up. It's a longer thing than I remember it being. We now have enough, we do? Glitter world medicine or... Okay, let's see if this actually works. It might not. We might need the nano kits for it, but hopefully we don't. And if we don't, we still need the glitter world medicine for other stuff, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, this factory research terminal is finally done. God, that took way too long. All right, let's research the stuff that needs this.
Okay. That should be everything that we need to research. Alright, I think that's all the research queued up. Okay, it looks like the surgery is working. What was what? What did you just throw? Probably a whole brown bear. Yeah, nice beard bear. <laughs> bear kind of looking like a... Uh, like a white man on YouTube. <laughs> Orbital bombardment targeter. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, the bear model is one of the few that I actually kept in from the defaults. Alright. Right now I'm mostly just waiting for stuff to get crafted. Still waiting on the Virtuous Treaty. Come on, guys. Oh wait, no, we can make it now. Okay, Ron, make it. What do you mean, need material? What do we need? What, what do we still need? 12 components, 2 advanced components? Is it that? Do we not have... We don't have any advanced components, of course not. So, Kron, do you want the circadian half cycler? Because it turns out it only does like a 15% minus to uh, consciousness, which is less than I thought. But um, it makes it so that you never sleep. Can I make you bald with a beard so you look like Babish? Absolutely, Bear. Absolutely. I don't know about bald, but I can give you, like, shaved hair. Like, Babish has... Bab Babish is shaved. He's not, like, actually fully bald yet. Um... Alright, where is it? That is definitely not it. Okay, hold on. Where is shaved? There you go. Why do you have a fucking Mike Tyson tattoo? There you go. Babish. Babish bear. He's growing back his hair? Really? Oh, what did they sponsor keeps? God fucking damn it. <laughs> good one, good one. Yeah, the floating ears. The ears are not quite attached to the head. Are you sure you want to stick with that? Sure you want to stick with the Babish look? Bear cat with Babish! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Bear Cat with Babish. Today we're going to be making a... Okay, no, I don't know how to do his voice. I don't actually remember his, like, whole intro. Hello, and welcome to Binging with Babish. Just do it for the bit, okay. Do you not want to be bald then? I could do a calming cooking show? Yeah, I know I could. Maybe long hair? Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna get me with that again, Nexon. Not, never, never again. I will never be fooled by Metal Gear DN again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Never. All right, let's see. Let's get you some some long but kind of mask-ish looking hair. Wow, look at that beauty queen. Beth. Is this That's a Rick and Morty thing. Okay. Next year, right? Yeah, the new Metal Gear DN. Right. No, not, mm -mm. you're not going to get me with that one. How about you ride on this dick, huh? Farm boy. Oh, is this Luke Skywalker? We'll go with that for now. Um, I wasn't gonna say it. Used to have a filter. <laughs> what? Here, what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> zoom in. How about you zoom over to the daycare? That okay. You should do a rate of like 200k points. Yeah, sure. I second that. Or I third that, yeah. You should do it. We should you should get us killed by mechanoids again. Mom said I can't go there. Cannot spend more than two twenty thousand coins on a raid. Wait, that limit seems a little higher. I thought it was 10,000 before, but it's 20,000 now? That's pretty cool. Okay, do we have enough? Okay, make the goddamn virtuous treaty so Rue can have a busted ass sword. Oh god, please, not right now. My, ra my computer can't handle it. My computer is like frozen right now, guys. Or not my computer, but my rim world. My rim world is just completely frozen right now. Because it has to calculate the raid. Now just just give it a moment. It, it'll pull through. Okay, there it is. Ash Spider's relationship. Let's check out how oh fuck. Getting close to it. Getting close to it makes my computer chug. That's a lot of them. Uh, they all have melee weapons, though. No, we can deal with this. Oh, these guys are fucking dead, bro. These guys are so dead. All right. Kron. Uh, I just want to make sure that our adamantium doesn't get all used up, so I'm going to suspend these. Suspend all that. Suspend that. So that a uh, virtuous treaty can get made. Uh, but it's time to fight. Uh, almost none of these guys have guns, so we can just kind of firing line them right here. Alright, watch this shit. Ooh, they're all taking their nose candy. So many of them are just holding beer bottles. 
What is this, the Burning Man raid? They're just a bunch of... <laughs> They're all drunk and high. And they've just decided to come try and beat us up. Oh man, they've got a lot of shield belts. Thanks for the adamantium. Uh, they have a lot of shield belts. They have a concerning amount of shield belts. All right, people, yeah, use your go juice. No more than one. Okay, Ron, go out in front so you can engage. Bear, you too. Bear, why do you not have a weapon? Shit, 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 shit. There, we're getting you first a new shield belt and then a weapon. Do we not have any more shield? What the fuck? Okay, Bear, you're gonna stay out of this combat for now. back a little bit <laughs> let's back up okay Kron sure you know what go kill Jojo what the fuck we got a Jojo character here oh what they have power armor trooper armor shield belt holy fuck dog what is going on let me go check what the dog's barb going at. Okay, yeah, I'm going to allow the mortars to fire. That's a good idea. Fire at will. I want to see them all shoot at once. Oh god, Karen, please survive a point blank mortar. Holy shit, that was amazing. Alright, Karen, jump out of there. Oh my god, the mortars are killing my computer. fuck was that just then? Wait. Did, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you guys see all those damage numbers that came out of Roboner just then? How? How? What? what? How, how did those attacks happen so fast? Oh, 
Uh oh, sounded like something released the ancient danger. Alright. Hold your fire, mortars. Search and destroy. Search and destroy. I said. Search and destroy. Search and destroy. Sounds like people inside the Ancient Danger are trying their very best to break out. Okay, it looks like they got out. And they released some bugs. Go Juice, Nemnir, Arcotech Teleporter. All right, we've got a new problem on our hands. Wow, this lag is pretty intense. Get him, Kron. Holy shit, Kron just landed on her. Hydrate. All right. <laughs> Did you fucking see that? Kron like jumped inside the building and landed on Wolf to stun her. What a badass. Man, they've got some pretty good armor. Yeah, trooper armor. If they're Deflecting all these charged shotgun bits. Oh, I get some pretty crazy weapons in here. Charge SMGs. Ooh, a bullet storm. This thing doesn't look like a C compatible, actually. Oops. All right, fight's over, guys. Allow all. Look at all this fucking mess out here. So many of them just shot by mortars. <laughs> oh my god. What are your wounds? You have one gunshot, uh, but otherwise you're perfectly fine. I have a gunshot on my head that I somehow did not die from. Just kind of glanced off my cheek or something, I don't know. Robe owner's the most fucked up out of everyone. Look at all those gunshots and shit. Can you kill them all? Finish them all off? Alright. All yours. That means it's second stream time.
Why are you greening out? I don't know how to get you to like prioritize finishing them off specifically. But the la the game is really chugging right now. The game is seriously chugging right now. Ooh. Ooh, you guys see that frame rate? This is on one time speed. Game does not like this. is something else. <laughs> Traveler's Wish for Charity? Nope. You're not gonna get any. Second stream? What do you mean we're going for the full 12 hours? <laughs> no, that's just my alarm that I set for uh, getting ready to do the second stream. hiding doesn't look like there's many of them if any at all okay what is the dog doing right now hold on What the dog doing? Dog is just barking and I don't know who uh, he's barking at. Oh, wait. Okay, for some reason you can wear our helmets, the Prestige Cataphract helmet, but not the normal one? That's weird. But, uh, okay, sure. Oh, wait, no, you're naked because you're sleeping. I don't know why Dub's Apparel Tweaks does that. I went through the options and it shouldn't, but it does.
Thanks for the adamantium. <gasps> Someone's making the virtuous treaty. Who is it? Who's making it? Kron, where are you? Why is the game chugging so goddamn hard right now? I'm only getting 33 TPS. You're supposed to be getting 60. Why is my TPS so damn low? What is slowing down my game so much? Is it errors? No. Oh. Okay, suddenly it's better now. There we go. You know, maybe it's not the best time to be high right now. Because you're not going to make a very good virtuous treaty. We can power lifting belts to try one for a deadlift PR and help you add 70 more pounds. Big schmuck. Doesn't it also help you not hurt yourself? There's no bad time to be high. Bear, bear, uh, like literally next day, bear caught for DUI. <laughs> no bad time to be high, testifies the defendant. <laughs> I know you're kidding. Thrombo horn. All right. Uh, so that's the item and not the implant. Oh my god! Why is my TPS so goddamn low? It's low again. That's the item, not the implant. If you um, if you want the implant, let me know and I'll make it for you. <laughs> Your Honor, there's no bad time to be high. Your Honor, the explosive device that my client has made uh, was made with great craftsmanship and skill. To call it improvised is just an insult. <laughs> yes, please? Okay. I'll get you the actual thrombo horn. Uh, it's somewhere in here, right? Alright, it's in the massive queue here. There you go. It's at, it's, at, it's at the top of the queue. So when people actually make stuff, it'll get made. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Th wait, three psychic ships? No, okay, just, just the one psychic ship plus some mechanoids. Oh. I could take that right now. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for Kron to finish making the virtuous tree as he's greening out. God, what is with this lag? Maybe if I look away from the base, it'll fix itself a little. No, clearly not. Why is our TPS so damn low? shouldn't be this low. Not yet, anyway. Okay, see, and suddenly... No, never mind. Thought it was getting better, but it's not. The fuck, why is the TPS this low? Why do I have to live with junkies and weirdos? That's just life on the rim. 
That is just life out here on the rim. Can I manually target? No, can't manually target with the auto mortars. What are these? What are you? Sand Prowler? What? A genetic amalgamation possessing features of a lion, a shark, and a sand skink. What? The sand prowler was originally created as a ferocious hunting animal for desertic planets. The sand prowler can quickly burrow and swim through sand, hiding the bulk of its body in line to strike its prey from relative safety. Huh? Shock troop. I'm looking for fast mounts. Can we keep it? Maybe. Um, reloading the turret, okay. All right, um, go ahead and pick any of these except Man in Black. Okay, Virtuous Treaty done. Rue, that's yours. It's absolutely horrible frame rate. Or not frame rate, but TPS. I mean, frame rate too, but also the TPS in general is just going to kill me. Here we go. Bear. That's yours now. Okay. I'm going to send Kron in alone to deal with these guys. I know we can take them. for a moment. Farming trader. Okay, I, I had a bit of a scare there. I saw the UI disappear and I thought it was going to be more chaos magic, but it sounds like we're good. I hope. How far are we from raiding ourselves? Um, I don't know. I don't usually go out and raid because, like... I've got so much to deal with at home. I only do that once I'm bored of doing stuff at home. Because the way I play, we usually can just kind of make uh, stuff ourselves. All right, we'll buy one sand prowler. We're going to sell the arctic wolf because it's not going to survive in these temperatures. Um, 
have to get revenge on a child. Oh, my. oh that's right. All right, well, we're gonna have to get SRTS. Uh, we're gonna have to get short range transport ships first. And then um, for that, we're gonna need, well, actually we already have chem fuel going. We need to finish the nuclear reactor. We need to make sure that everyone's armed up with power armor because we're still waiting on that. It's taking a long time. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna buy a couple of these RX neural chips because these uh, act as a relay. So if we ever do want to go raiding, we're gonna need these. Uh, oh, hey, we can sell them our beer. I'll buy all of your RX neural chips. These guys buy beer, we can buy everything off of them. Wealth? Yeah, our colony wealth is kind of insane. There we go. Wait, where'd they drop the stuff? Where are the RX neural chips? Oh, all the way back here? Fuck you. All right, Charon, take him out. Seriously, what the hell happened to my <laughs> to my TPS? Why is it this garbage? It is one third, less than one third of what it's supposed to be. You see how much the game is chugging right now? This game is chugging something fierce. There we go. Oh, and just as soon as that happens, we get a Manhunter pack. Of spiders, how fun. Uh, you know what? We're gonna hit them with mortars. I don't feel like dealing with them. That's all gonna miss, isn't it? Okay, yeah, no, mortars are too slow. Okay, well, draft everyone up. That did it. Good job. Hmm. 
I think I saw that one. I just looked at the description. I think I saw it. Uh, the only thing I know for real. Hold on. Is that the Raiden Raiden one? Like where one's the Genshin Impact Raiden and then the other's Metal Gear Raiden? Because if that's the one, then they're both pretty impressively good. Uh, I watched a couple of other ones. The other one was just like uh, Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. Whoa, shit. That guy's bigger than I thought. Honestly, I have like zero interest in Genshin besides the characters. They are pretty. Also, Raiden is voiced by uh, Miyuki Sawashiro, or Sawashiro Miyuki. Um, she was like my favorite voice actor for a long time. Probably still is. Weeaboo. Got bored of playing the game itself? Good. Don't let the gotcha get you. Genshin's not even, like, Japanese. It's, uh... Mihoyo's, I think, Chinese. <laughs> Professional weeb. <laughs> Mihoyo's, like, from China, and they moved to Singapore, I think. Look at the difference between, look, look at the difference between paused RimWorld and running RimWorld. <laughs> paused? Running. It runs so smoothly when it's paused. God. Is it the amount of pathfinding that's going on? What, what is it? <laughs> it's like gambling, but we just market it to sexy children. <laughs> You're supposed to get your gun used through credit card debt and then destroy the bank. It's it's a reference to uh, Maxor. There's this one video. Barry should watch it. It's funny. Um, it's this video, like it's sort of a what review parody thing of Metal Gear Rising. And it got really popular. I was trying to do an impression of Sundowner because Sundowner is really fucked in that uh, in that video. Like I said, Jack, kids are cruel, and I love minors. <laughs> the video is so funny. It's great. Yeah, Bear, you should watch it. War crimes this, code of conduct that. Bullshit. I don't think we have anything worthwhile to buy or sell to these guys. Yeah, there's nothing. Dismiss you. Dismiss you. Thanks for the silver. 
Like the good old days after 9-11. Yeah, literally. Actual in-game dialogue. Metal Gear Rising is a game. Some might even say it's the most game ever. See, I'm forgiving, see Lifting further and further It's all becoming clear to me The sin is upon us and I can't sleep Internal temperatures rising Oh wait, I don't know the lyrics to that song That's the one I probably know the least of Wait, there's more traitors? Oh my god, how many of you showed up? Oh wait, no. These guys were the charity people. Wait, they want beer? Oh yeah, you can have the beer. Go ahead. I thought you were going to ask for silver. Okay, do you guys see how slowly these drop pods come in? My game is chugging so goddamn hard and I have no idea why. Red Sun? Alright. I want to try and learn how to play Red Sun on the guitar. Red sun, red sun over paradise, red sun. I'm trying to get the 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 voice right too because the singer has a certain voice. Red sun over paradise, golden rain, wait, golden rays of the glorious sunshine. Oh, really? Send down such a blood red light. Now the animals slowly retreat to the shadows out of sight. Arid winds blow across the mountains, giving flight to the birds of prey. Yeah. In the distance, machines come to transform Eden, day by day. Only love is with us now, something warm and pure. Violence breathes within ourselves, no need for a cure. When the wind is slow and the fire's hot, the vulture waits to see what rots. Oh, how pretty all the scenery. This is nature's sacrifice. When the air blows through with a brisk attack, the reptile tail rip from its back. When the sun sets, we will not forget the red sun over paradise. <laughs> Red Sun. <laughs> uh, hold on, wait. Who wanted the Thrombo Horn? Was it Alcadron? I think it was Alcadron who wanted the Thrombo Horn. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I literally can't help it. That's how I keep my time. Uh, was there more to the song? No, I think that was it, actually. I think that's like the whole song. It's pretty short. It's because Sundowner's second phase is so short. His health bar is like nothing. I'm surprised it took me so long. But uh, that was also because I had no idea how to use blade mode. Prestige Siege Breaker armor? You know, we can get you better. Oh, wait, Prestige Siege Breaker. Shit, yeah, wear that. There you go. Now you'll have like double shields. I 
right, let's unsuspend some of these bills here. Okay. Nuclear reactor getting built. All right, send me in. How many fuel rods do we have right now? Still six. Why are more fuel rods not being made? Are we missing something? No. More prestige siege raker. Uh, you know, we can make this shit ourselves and it'll be better. Like a lot better. I'm pretty sure, Kron, that your armor that you're wearing right now is better. Where'd the Siegebreaker armor go? Oh wait, that was purchased by Kron. Oops. Um. The queue is too long. We have armor at home. It's literally better though. This is to hold off till we can make it? No. We your armor that you're wearing now is better though. Like, let's see. Um 2.94 millimeters RHA. 2.6 MPA. I don't know what those stand for. As opposed to 2.11 and 1.865. Your armor right now is literally better. Cause this stuff is made of steel. But ours is made of adamantium, and adamantium is just that much better than steel. You gotta trust me here. Uh, the stuff I give you is so much better. And also, if I stop um, setting that up like that, if I stop suspending them, or we'll actually start making them, I can unpower this bionics workbench. Actually, wait, I, th I don't think that actually suspends anything. Trust me, I wouldn't give you I wouldn't give you armor that's worse than what you can just buy. What am I doing? Okay, but the steel cataphract armor is better than what I am wearing, so we'll keep it around. And it's not going to go to waste, but the stuff that we're making is better. <laughs> Nobody wants to try Rue's home cooking. That's because it's all uncooked human flesh. You have to cook it. <laughs> I think out of all the Metal Gear Rising songs, Red Sun is probably my favorite or second favorite. Only thing I know for real is either favorite or second favorite. It's, it's a toss up between those two. And I think third is probably Dark Skies or maybe, yeah, no, probably Dark Skies or Soul Can't Be Cut. I don't know. If you use go juice, five go juice at once, you're going to die. You're going to overdose. If you're lucky, you won't die. You'll instead be in a coma. But you will likely die. Oh, they ended up being... Okay. Okay. My tick rate is still not recovering. It's still chugging like hell. You're, you're immortal, you won't die. Oh, true, huh? Yeah, in that case, go for it. Take five go juice. I want to see what happens. Kind of curious.
All right, I'm going to put in Alcadron's Thrombo Horn because I don't think it was someone else who wanted it. Pretty sure it was Alcadron who wanted the Thrombo Horn. There you go. Oh boy. Okay, that threw an error. Was it this one? I hope it was just that one. All right, we're gonna forbid the corpse. Don't touch it. We're gonna have to reset all of your work priorities every time you die. It's still kind of annoying. All right. High on go juice, 30 hours. Drug overdose major. Is that going to tick down at all? I really hope that ticks down. Okay, it is ticking down. Uh, I don't think you're going to wake up until that ticks all the way down. Yeah, Kron trying to pull a Nexon. All right. Drug overdose major. Come on, keep ticking down. Eighty-six. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Oh yeah, also that strip you of your juice. Ah. It's kind of annoying when you die, even if you're immortal. I do have to reset a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't use wake up when you are dead. You currently don't have a pawn because you're dead. Just ignore the body. Okay, we're gonna allow that so that you get moved. Okay, drug overdose minor. All these people trying to kill themselves. <laughs> Rue, I don't even I don't even know if you're immortal. You're not. Rue's not immortal. Oh shit, your eye got shot out. Let's fix that. Um, okay, I don't see... We don't have any eyes being made yet, so let's make an eye. Start with a bionic eye. We can get you a special one later. to the top of the queue real quick. There we go. <laughs> You're becoming Raiden! Holy shit, you are! Oh my god, you are becoming Raiden. Uh, I'm still going to install the new eye because Raiden's like eye patch thing, it's actually a bunch of eyes. No, 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 let's not resurrect you. You're gonna wake up in a moment. I'm pretty sure. Your drug overdose is actually gone. And the Resurrector Mech Serum doesn't fix any of the problems that I thought it would. Uh, you should get up any moment now. We're just gonna wait. Missing body parts, 69. How did that happen? Oh, 69%. Oh, wait. Aha. That's why. That's why. Okay, you know what? Rue the Ripper. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll give you uh, the eye patch for now. Uh, but Raiden's eye patch thing is actually like a bunch of compound eyes. So we're just gonna say that you still have an eye patch. It's gonna be like your lore. In fact, actually, here's what we could do. I'm going to enable appearance clothing. 
will give you a blindfold to signify that you are Raiden. And then I'll give you uh, some Under Armour that looks like Raiden. There you go. You are now Raiden. Look at that, you're fucking Raiden. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait, do you want, holy shit, do you want white hair? Oh my god, hold on, hold on, we have to do this. We have to do this. You need white hair. You need to be a white-haired cyborg. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Get color B. And then... To change the gradient. Okay, is this all right? Hold on, wait. Uh, all right, there you go. You, you have a little bit of like orange roots because I can't override your hair color. That's just how the mod works. But there you go. Do you also want to have a fat ass like Raiden in 2B? I can give that to you. Do you want... Do you want to have the fat robot ass? Fat ass? Oh, there's K-Ron. He's back. <laughs> uh, make sure that you're still connected, K-Ron. I need to... K-Ron, equip your Psy sword. There you go. Okay, yeah, see, Kron's back. Now I have to reset all the work priorities, and then I have to make him also, uh, what's it called again? The... All right, there we go. That's the work priorities, and we have to make you the Juice Lord again. There you go. Man, that eye patch is really taking a long time to install, huh? Isn't it Jetstream Sam with the fat ass? Not Raiden. Raiden also has a respectable ass. Jetstream Sam's ass is fatter, but Raiden has, Raiden's not like, he's not lacking. He might not be packing, but he's not lacking. Oh, oof. How can, how close can I get to Sam's hair? Uh, like probably impossible. I'll see what I can do. Oops. I don't think I have anything like Jetstream Sam's hair. That first one looked cool. All right, we can go with that. There you go. New Roo. Do you want the fat ass though?
and yeah, by by fat ass, I just mean like switch you to the quote unquote feminine body type instead of uh, the thin one. Got to be caked up. Yeah, sure. Okay. I will cake you up as best I can. Oops. Damn it. There you go. Caked up Rue. Hey, what what kind of cakes are you have you been eating? Love cake the desert. Damn, you eat you eat sand? Let's set your roll care on again. Oh, I guess you're the juice lady now. <laughs> you meant dessert, yeah. I'm messing with you. Look at that caked up roux. I usually don't like cake. It's usually too sweet. But I had this one from King's Hawaiian the other day and it was pretty good. Persona Core offer. Hmm. It's from the Empire though. Yeah, fuck those guys. Actually, we can make our own. the driest cake ever yep all right rue do you want to get your uh bionic augmentations do you want to truly become okay okay so right now you're jet stream sam but you could become you could become raiden all right what do we have right now i don't think we have yeah, we still don't have your eye. Uh, let's wait till we get through all of these. It'll get done sooner than you might think, but it's still going to take a while uh, to get through all that. Sam didn't have a missing eye. Yeah, true. I mean, okay, we can start you on the path to being Sam by just giving you a uh, right arm. Just give you... Uh... Architect arm. Right shoulder. There you go. Sam. <laughs> Thought Rue wanted to be no augments? Nah, come on. Even Jetstream Sam had an arm. Are you still missing parts? Mm, well, okay. So the quote-unquote missing parts is just because you have bionics installed, and it's just a quirk of how the the RimWorld bionic system works. It removes all of your um, it removes all of your how do I explain this? So all of the body parts in RimWorld have a parent, so it's the root of the body is the torso, and then the all the other parts are attached through other parts to the torso, right? Uh, if you understand how like parenting works in like programming, it's that's how it works. Uh, all all of the parts are parented to the root of the torso. So, if you say replace an arm, it will remove all of the parented. Um, parts below it. I will hydrate. So if you replace the arm, which goes on the shoulder, 
It removes the humerus, which is the upper arm bone, it removes the radius and ulna, which are the forearm bones. It reduces, holy shit, wait, among us? Are you seeing this? Holy shit, bionic finger among us? All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. It removes the arm bones. All right, see you next on. It removes the arm bones and it removes the hand and all the fingers. So it'll say that all of those parts are removed because you replaced the shoulder, which is the arm. So the mod, uh, what was it? MS, MSE, Medical System Expanded, changes that. Yeah, your finger was among us. It was a mogus. Your finger was an imposter all along. Hard to believe, huh? Always knew Rue was sus. <laughs> What, next nano machines? <laughs> Monsoon talks about Among Us in the Max Orvid. Oh yeah, the Metal Rim Rising mod had um, Monsoon's sort of like bisection thing, the bisecting yourself implants. It was really cool, but it's not combat extended compatible, so can't use it. How about full of pilk? Is that a meme? Can you get nanites in your blood? Is that a thing? Maybe. I don't know. Might be added in Epo Forked. I don't know. You have every you have every asset from every MGR boss in your design. If we give you four arms, you can have Mistral. Uh, so we can you can get Mistral from the arms. Uh, Blade Wolf. If we give you, uh, there is a plasma chainsaw that we can get. If we get you to alternate between that and Virtuous Treaty, you can have um, Blade Wolf, Iron Man Endgame armor. I, I don't think that exists. Not in this RimWorld game, anyway. Um, let's see, let's see. So we, we get Blade Wolf. How do we get Metal Gear Ray? I already gave you Mistral's ass. Okay, no, if ass is all that's required, half of the MGR bosses have it. <laughs> now, I want to give you, like actual MGR boss shit. So like Mistral's arms, right? Um, if you, so appearance wise, you're wearing the blindfold, but if you actually wear a cataphract helmet, you'll look like Monsoon because Monsoon has his like eyes covered by like a sort of flat uh, thing, right? In front of his face. Um, that could be Monsoon. In fact, I think you're already wearing, no, never mind. You're not already wearing a cataphract helmet. Um, what else? Uh, Blade Wolf Plasma Chainsaw, if you use that from time to time, or if we get you... Uh, wait, I don't know how to get Blade Wolf onto you. I, oh, wait, Wolf Ears. We can give you Wolf Ears, then you can have Blade Wolf, right? Um, Metal Gear Ray. I don't know how we do Metal Gear Ray. You are Metal Gear Rising, yeah. If you keep using your katana, you can be Jetstream Sam, plus you have the hairstyle. Uh, white hair and blindfold, Raiden. Um, Armstrong, we're gonna have to figure out how to get nano machines in you. Um, who else am I missing? 
Sundowner. Uh, how would we do Sundowner? Chainsaw tail? No, it's the chain. The plasma chainsaw is a weapon, not an implant. Yeah, I don't know how to do Ray and Sundowner. If I still had the dual wield mod, we could just have you dual wield, and that would be enough for Sundowner, honestly. But Blade Wolf. Uh, oh, wait, I mean, if we had dual, if we had dual wield, we could just give you one virtuous treaty, and then in your other hand, a plasma chainsaw. Then we get Blade Wolf and Sundowner in one, and that would be everyone. I give you black and red armor. Um. Okay, I could try. Why does it look like you have two blindfolds on? Why does it give you two blindfolds? That's so weird. Hold on. Give me a second to try and figure this out. Use this and then make it red to give you a sort of red stripe. Hey, there you go. Sundowner. Alright. What's this gun link look like? Don't like that. Your wake up radio isn't working. I don't think it literally keeps you awake forever. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so what? Why does the blindfold show up twice? It's so weird. I don't get why it does that. Give, it gave you an apron, yeah. Why, why does the blindfold do that? You're not becoming the colony's fucking maid. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. It's power armor. Like, it's actually power armor. The, um, the eccentric tech mods, it's, it's made power armor. Okay, you know what? I don't, I don't care if it shows up twice. The blindfold is necessary. And the only cleanup you do is bodies. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's the only way I could think to get a red stripe on you, okay? <laughs> I had to figure something out. It, women's armor in video games. So true. So true. Women's armor in video games. Made power armor. Usually it's a lot skimpier, though. The, the made power armor actually, like, covers your whole body, at least. Also, for, for what it's worth, uh, the mod is made by a woman, so... <laughs> for what it's worth, you know. I mean, she comes into the chat every once in a while, too. You're 100% down for wolf ears? Alright, let's get that queued up. The bionic eye is done. Let's give Rue the bionic eye. Where is it? Where's the eye? It said it got made. Where'd it go? What? Oh, there it is. It's a right eye. 
Persona Plasma Sword. Oh, it's actually Masterwork. Holy shit. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! That's really good. Okay. Okay, Ron, that is your sword. Holy shit. It's Freddy. Freddy the Persona Plasma Sword. Alright, that means giving the Psy Sword to someone else. Are you okay with that? That Persona Plasma Sword is busted. Checking my uh, text real quick. Yeah, Freddy the Destroyer. And we have so many random little weapons here. Man, all these cosmetic implants are really chewing through our uh, advanced component supply, though. Persona Mono Sword. Pretty sure the Plasma Sword is better. Psychic Quiet. Eh, not very good. Also, it's only normal quality. If that's any good, give it to Bear. I don't think it's better. I was gonna give Bear a Virtuous Treaty because it it's like a defensive kind of thing. Yeah, no, the this one's the Plasma Sword's better. Yeah. Actually, wait, holy shit, the Psy Sword is insane. I never realized how insane this thing was, but like, the Psy Sword's actually better. We'll give someone else this Persona Mono Sword. Or, mo not Mono Sword, uh, Plasma Sword. Jealous Kill Sorrow. That's horrible. That's so bad. Okay, who else? All right, you know what, Bobo? That's yours. The Virtuous Treaty. Put down an orbital trade beacon right here by the weapon so we can actually sell them. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's going to end up making the fuel rod, so we'll just start up the reactor right now, and then we can start getting some actual progress done now that we have power to do stuff. You need to channel your inner weeb. <laughs> the black hair was better. You feel the orange roots ruin it. Okay. Um. Wait.
Oh wait, hold on. What about this? Got it to actually work. What about this? What about orange tips on white hair? Or do you still want black hair? Mjolnir strike target. I have no idea what that is. What is this? Does it just bring lightning down? Yeah, lightning. Okay. <laughs> Age reversal, Wulongs. Should be set to auto. Here, just go in there right now. You want long pastel colored hair IRL? Wait, did I turn it on or no? Oh, oops, I didn't. There we go. All right. Let's turn one of these off. How much do these generate? 16 kilowatts, all right. We can turn off one of them. And yep, we can just about turn off two of them. All right, cool. All right, we need more nuclear fuel rods. That's nowhere near enough. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? Why are we running out of power? I thought thought we had the amount. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god, I feel so stupid. They're not connected. Oops. Hold on. Room atomics. Yeah, okay, that's why. Actually. Oopsie. I made a little I made a little boo-boo. I did a dumb. Alright. Maybe that, but black. If it was going to be white, it would have to be full white. Um, can your Twitch chat color be white? Yeah, I didn't think so either. There's like four greens, huh? See, this gradient doesn't really work with black. That's a problem. Could do two or three. This gradient hair color mod is 
a little bit finicky and honestly i don't really like it the main reason i got it was to be able to like have hair colors because you can't turn off twitch toolkit changing the hair colors that's the really annoying part like let me just double check here it's not in here actually maybe I don't think it is right Settings? Here, let's change the bot username. Uh, see if that works. Yeah, no, you, you did it white. Oh. What did I just drop? No idea what I just dropped. Twitch toolkit. Yeah, no, I don't think I can make it so that it doesn't change your hair color. It's really weird how that works. Uh, let me just restart Twitch toolkit. Try that again. Did I screw something up? Okay. Should be changing stuff. Don't know why it's not. Come on, really? The one time I want stuff to change with Twitch, it doesn't. Wait, hold on a second. I fucked up my... I fucked up my Twitch chat. <laughs> I fucked up my Twitch chat on... Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um... Okay, there we go. Fixed. Might be a prime gaming choice. Yeah. Might be... White requires money. <laughs> yeah. Well, it requires an Amazon Prime subscription, which a lot of people already have, so. If you can get Prime. <sighs> if you can link your Prime, rather, to your Twitch, then it's an option. 
Damn, pay to win Twitch chat color, so true. That's pay to win. Uh, you have to set to the same blue as me, which is not the same blue that you had before. And I don't know why Twitch Toolkit is not changing to reflect it. It's being rather strange. Uh, yeah, looks better now. Looks like your uh, old one. Come on, please. Why is this so goddamn slow? What happened to my game? Why is it slow now? Why is the TPS even lower? The fuck happened? Are there animals that I need to like kill or something? Is it the sand prowler? Why is it so bad? No one's idle. Why is the lag so bad right now? Okay, and suddenly it's all better. TPS jumps right back to normal, somehow. Do I understand why? No. What suddenly happened that made my TPS go right back to like 60? What changed? Seriously, what the hell changed? No, it's not a lot of bodies. We still have a lot of bodies. What did it? What was causing so much lag that just suddenly disappeared? Oh, and now it's back. And it's gone? What the hell? And now it's back. Not as bad, but it's it's back. What what could it be? Genuinely what? And now it's gone. Huh? I mean, I'm not expecting it to run super well on three times speed, but it was running horribly on one time speed. What was the deal with that? Huh. So strange. What happened? I'm so confused, I have no idea what's wrong with my RimWorld game. A tip jab. Alright, see ya, bear. Hopefully this lag decides to fix itself. And also, somehow miraculously, I will get my answer as to why it's being like this. Alright, there we go. 
35 kilowatts. Should be able to shut that down now. The memes, the DNA of our soul. The lag is back, and it's gone. What? It's clearly Amogus, yeah. Destroy the Amogus, that's what's at fault. the Amogus. It always was. It's gone. And yet, the lag remains. <sighs> Seriously, what the hell is it? Because, like, it seems to go back to, like, almost normal. What could it be that's causing that much lag? I'm genuinely curious. Save and restart. I don't want to restart, it's going to take forever. I'll, I'll reload. Also, I might uh, stop for tonight soon because, you know, I'm getting kind of tired. I've been streaming RimWorld far too long recently and it is interfering with my life. Like, I, I need to eat and stuff, so... <sighs> but I'm, I'm gonna try... Just restarting and seeing what happens. Uh... I don't know why I'm sleepy at 8 p.m. when I've been falling asleep at like 4 a.m. I don't get it. It's RimWorld's fault. RimWorld is ruining my life, but I love it for it. It's a nice set. That's a nice statement, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Alright. Oh, uh, so, fun story. The other day, actually, not the other day, literally yesterday, um, I was in a VC with some old friends, and I was reciting the Lego City, a man has fallen into the river in Lego City thing, and they thought that someone was actually playing a Lego City ad, so I must have been pretty good. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. <clears throat> Deploy the rescue helicopter. Build the rescue helicopter. Release the lifeline. Let down the stretcher. <laughs> uh, something, something, something. Uh, come to the rescue with Lego City Rescue uh, Adventure Pack. So, something like that. I don't, I don't know what it said. I'd have to, like, see it. <laughs> or hear it. But you get the point. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Yeah, apparently I was pretty good. All 
All right, the lag seems to be gone. Let's try spinning up it a little. All right, it's not quite keeping up with the target, but it's faster. Man, these single core games, man. Sell the fuck ton of Lego in my room. I wish I still had my Lego. I sold it a few years ago. Actually, no, I didn't sell it. I think I gave it to my uh, younger cousins. I don't think they appreciate it as much as I did. Honestly, actually, I think they've outgrown it. I never will because autism, but they will. <laughs> I miss my Lego. Apparently, Legos are pretty expensive. Yeah, I didn't realize because I was a little kid, but those Legos were kind of expensive. Is big into the Star Wars category? Yeah, I was pretty big into Lego Star Wars. Uh, but for me, it was more like... Um, what was it? Although, no, no, I'd say Lego Star Wars was probably the most... The thing I used most. Uh, but I also did, like, Mindstorm. Or whatever it was called. I forget what it was called. That and Technic. I was into that. That stuff was cool. My parents put me into a lot of uh, sort of kids robotics programs and they all use Lego Mindstorms. So I got like really good at using that shit. I got really good at like building and programming them. So that was pretty fun. Big into Star Wars issue you had is you could keep many sets in sec at the age of 21. <laughs> you have only one set still semi intact. Yeah, I mean like. That's the thing, though. Why would you bother keeping sets intact? Embrace the chaos and build your own things. Ooh, okay. Infection, gut worms, or gut worms? Man, this game really wants to give us gut worms. Watch. It's going to be like infection, brain, incurable. Fuck up gut worms. All my homies hate gut worms. My god, who the f Why are y'all fighting? This is the second fight you've had in like the last five minutes. Sheesh. Chill out, huh? You're into Transformers more than Legos? I don't think I've ever had Transformers. I, I didn't grow up in the age of Transformers. I, I grew up right between uh, Transformers, Transformers Hasbro toys and the Transformers movies. <laughs> Remove Arrival. That's not how that works. much clothing out here. <sighs> Disease infection. Pfft. Some colonists. Holy shit, everyone got an infection.
You know, it was in the Beast Wars sequel suck the dick. <laughs> suck dick though, not gonna lie. Crappy CGI back in the early 90s, yeah. Beast Wars! I don't know, I didn't watch a lot of TV as a kid. I was a little pretentious. I was, I was a pretentious little asshole. Thought it was too good for TV. Also, we didn't have very good TV anyway. Like, we didn't have cable. <laughs> I don't think. Um, the only, like, sort of mainstream thing that I got to watch was uh, Spongebob, and not most of it. That and, like, iCarly, because iCarly was in the slot right after Spongebob. And it was only at my grandma, uh, my grandpa's place. And so that's all I got to watch as a kid. Just iCarly and Spongebob. I didn't even like iCarly. It's just, I just left it on because I was playing with my Legos. And it was after Spongebob, which I did want to watch. I mean, comparing anything to Toy Story is not really fair for the time, for like the time frame, because like Toy Story is made by fucking Pixar and it's a movie. Like, sure, it didn't age well, but like, it's still Toy Story made by Pixar. <laughs> They came out around the same time, but it's Pixar, though. Ow. This is far too much clothing. Okay, I'm going to set this thing up so that it'll take tainted clothing. Clear all. No, clear all. Priority preferred. Apparel. Everything. Not clean. Allow pawn access. What is all this? Who are you? So wait, Bearcat cannot talk properly because of poor, poor health. I have to check Bear's health tab. Uh, okay, what can we sell? Wow, that's a lot of human meat. <laughs> 10,000 human meat. That's pretty crazy. It's a bit wild, isn't it? Forsaken anglerfish. What? Yoko Salt. Uh, what is... What is this? A raw forsaken anglerfish. Why is it forsaken? I understand that it's an anglerfish, but why is it forsaken? Ocular fish? A completely alien breed of fish. Its single huge yellowed eye seems to be looking in all directions simultaneously. What the fuck? I wonder how we got so much roux. <laughs> so much. Hmm. Roux? Alright. Dismiss them. What is up with you? Oh, the gas mask. That's why. That makes sense. We need to get you a cataphract helmet.
Why do we have 10k human meat? Because we've been butchering every single person we find. Why else? <laughs> no comment. I mean, yeah. You can get a lot of human meat in this game quite easily. Thank fuck they didn't find the- oh. Oh fuck, there goes all the... Uh, thank fuck they didn't find the other 50k hidden in the bunker under my room. Uh, nothing. Oh, you're right, Kieran. I did not understand how bad the graphics were. That's like, Morrowind level graphics. <laughs> Still. So much tainted apparel, it needs to go. Why is there so much of it? Okay, um... Let's suspend these two bills. Suspend all three of those bills. We don't really need the large quantities of anything that's not adamantium. So can we like get to doing the other important stuff? Like all this clothing? Okay, I'm getting a little tired. Bio okay, so after... So in the next year, the biome is going to change into a gelatinous superorganism. Okay. Interesting. A huge mold-like organism has grown in this area, basically destroying the previous existing ecosystem and replacing it with an alien landscape of its own creation. Its strange biology seems to be com compatible with this planet's biosphere. What? Okay, we're gonna get some weird shit. Is this a uranium meteorite? That's beautiful. <laughs> moving day? <laughs> nah, we're staying here. We're never moving out. This place is awesome. This base here is like pretty decent. waiting on there's so much construction stuff that's just not getting done oh advanced components that must be it come on people make the advanced components what are you guys doing that isn't making advanced components relaxing socially unbelievable what's Alcadron doing 
recycling. Okay. What were you just recycling? Alright, let's just suspend recycling apparel for now. That's taking up way too much of our time. here we just have a camel stuck in our freezer that's a good idea we should call up a trader once you're done making these uranium pellets I'm gonna have you call up a trader and then uh, we could call we could, we could buy some stuff Shaman merchant from Hivers of the Ice, okay. Alright. Oh, wait, traitor. There's already some here. Call him up. Alright. Oh, we can buy boomalopes. Not that I want them right now, but that's always interesting to see. Alright, um... Reinforced barrels, we don't really need those. Uh, deuterium, tritium, and helium-3. Maybe. I'm going to sell the bullhorns because we don't need them. And then I'll implant the wolf ears onto Rue, now that I know we have them. Uh, we have a cochlear implant. That was for someone, I don't remember who. Uh, we could sell these legs. We're not going to need them. Uh, let's sell all of our garbage little shitty melee weapons. Biocoded PKM. Let's just get rid of the biocoded stuff. It's not getting destroyed fast enough. Alright, let's see. What weapons do we want to actually sell? We could sell these powered maces. I'm gonna sell the plasteel katana. It just doesn't keep up anymore. 2%. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna sell all of this garbage. We don't need modern day sort of weapons anymore because we have better shit. Sell the UMP-45. Uh-huh. Sell the Gauss Lance, because it's not uh, compatible. Sell all that. Sell these. Sell the Ballistic Shield. All right, and that's more than they can afford, so let's see what we can buy from them. What can we buy from you, kind people? Anything useful? Uh, I guess medicine's always useful. All right, we'll go with that. This isn't my sword. It's a fucking mistake. <laughs> oh, okay, so I just remembered. There is a way that we can get a red sword, but it requires a different mod that I purposefully did not install in here uh, for balance reasons. I know, right? Balance reasons on my game. Trust me, this, this mod's broken. Um, maybe on the next one, though, we can have a red katana. Uh, red vir- well, actually, oh, it looks like Virtuous Treaty got overhauled, so it can only be made out of Rimforge materials. That's a shame. You saw all the old clothes? We can't, though. Like, it didn't let us. Is it more broken than Roboner? Uh, 
not broken in that sense. But yes. I, yeah, hey, Zephy, welcome. I have grown quite a bit, uh, and the frame rate has only dropped. Frame rate continues to drop lower and lower. Oh, Zephy, I've been meaning to ask. Uh, so your colonist here is idle the most out of everyone, and it's because you're incapable of sla uh, dumb labor? Would you like to change that <laughs> and be able to do dumb labor? Because being idle is bad. It causes lag. Two more fuel rods here. Uh, how? We change your background. That's how. I'm just asking for permission. And uh, also, what kind of background you'd want if we change it to something. I'm going to make a small little storage zone right here just for uranium pellets. to become a working member of society. Uh, yeah, we can change your backstory as well if you'd like. Apparently Pyromaniac is a backstory and that sounds fitting. Alright. I got you. It's the Child Star one that uh, disables dumb labor, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did I see beep in here? Did I see like hive exile or something? No, I don't I don't think I did. The fuck is it even a shop kid? Um, let's find out. S S S S H Shop Kid. Uh your mother was often ill and it fell to you to run the store, which was your only source of income. You learned a little about the exotic artifacts which she sold, and a lot of, about the art of the deal. That's what a shop kid is, so you ran a shop. Uh, wait, I think I passed P. P1. Okay, Pyromaniac. There we go. Firefighting disabled? I'll take that. Alright, there you go. So now you're incapable of firefighting instead of dumb labor. Thank you very much. Alright. Uh, so, Rue, what kind of backstory do you want? There's all sorts of stuff here. Cave child. Ch yes, child backstory. Still growing. I mean, yeah, there are so many. Battle droid? That's a robot one. So, that's, good. that's probably going to break stuff. Or maybe not, but I still don't want to use it. They're just better ones. All right, keep in mind that a lot of mods add backstories, but like, look at the vanilla ones first. Oh, Exiled Hive member was right there. Holy shit, it's Beep. Yeah, I was, thank you. <laughs> it's Beep. You can have the Beep backstory, but no, because you're not a Hiver. Factory made, that's for robots. Gun kid. <laughs> Didn't want Rue to die so Rue could become Hiver. <laughs> Rue was a smart kid. Political climber. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. This backstory's fucked up. 
This backstory says that when you were like a, a small kid, you forced you like pushed a kid to suicide just to win a school election. Oh my, what? That's that's so fucked. God, it's so petty. What a horrible reason to force someone to kill themselves. Rimworld creation. Toy model. Oh, that's a robot one. Uh, Jealous has an A after the E. Vid tube star. Yo, holy shit. <laughs> Pasta cooking guides. <laughs> Uh, wait, okay, I can't unpause the game while we're in here. Oops. Oops. I actually just removed your whole childhood. Memory's broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. <laughs> Let me see if I can find one that's like Child Soldier, so that you could be uh, extra Metal Gear. Memory's broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. I don't know the season or what is the reason I'm standing here holding my blade. A desolate place without any trace. It's only the cold when I feel. It's you, it's me that I spy as I stand up and fight. The only thing I know for real, there will be blood. Shed the man in the mirror nods his head, the only one left will ride upon the dragon's back because the mountains don't give back what they take. All right, military cadet. Oh no, there will be blood. Shed, it's the only thing I've ever known. Killer. Just as a child, Rue was a bloodlusting child. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Military cadet. There are several. Uh, let's make sure that we get one that doesn't block your skills that you already do. Looks like you do construction and animals. So... Yeah, that's handling disabled. Let's not do that. Okay, we could do this one. Oh, this one's even covert operations. Yeah, that's perfect. That's so Metal Gear. That is extremely Metal Gear. That's exactly what we need. All right. There you go. Your childhood was a drone. All right. And now Kiron is jealous, which is okay because there's no one... Yeah, you're, you're in the other jealous person's room, so same one. Death auto cleaner, what? It died to the infection? What the fuck? You're kidding, right? I don't think this thing's supposed to be able to get an infection, so I just kind of cheated it back. It only got it through Twitch Toolkit, so... 
Yeah. Very strange. Oh, and a uranium grand sculpture. Sorry, I missed that. Where do we want this? Put it in here. Oh, it doesn't really line up with anything. All right, for now it'll go here, but we'll get a different one. It got an infection from, uh, what's it called? Twitch Toolkit. And yes, Tipsy, I'm fine. I'm not. RimWorld has taken over my life. I, I, RimWorld is, it's Rim, RimWorld. I can't think of anything else. Just, just RimWorld. 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 I wonder what's, I wonder what counts as a good animal event. Why is Bear so f fucking sad? Nexon died! Aww. Observed rotting corpse times five. Supreme ex Okay, that's gotta be it. Rebuffed by everyone. Wow. Oof. Pigs join. Okay. Well, pigs can eat human meat, so they can stay. Unless they start causing lag, in which I will kill them. Are these corpses rotting? They are rotting. Okay. Uh, yep. Why are these corpses rotting? I thought we had them in... This place is freezing. Oh, it's just because they're out here rotting. No wonder. Okay, we're just gonna forbid those. Alright, there we go. No more rotting corpses. No more tainted clothing. Yeah, no one likes rotting meat. Rotting meat is bad. Rotten meat is not an object. No, spoiled stuff isn't... It's not a separate item. It, any meat that's rotten just disappears. Um, any bodies that are rotten are, like, individual bodies. There's no rotten meat item. No, no bad item. And corpse bile is not an item, it's a decal. You can't drink it. It's, it's a decal. It's not even an item. Is Builder another backstory, uh, or is it a job? I think it's 
your backstory. Yeah, it's your backstory. You want to change that one too? It could make you like a covert operative. That that's very Metal Gear. I don't know if covert operative is a one one of the things, but like it's it's something. I'm sure, we could find something similar. If you want to be like big boss, you could be deserter. Oh, that's not quite big boss. Uh, let's see. assassin probably not You want to buy, you want to be a misandrist? Mercenary. Just call you Karen. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, no, Ninja Assassin, holy shit, there we go. That's the one, that's the one, Ninja Assassin. <laughs> there you go, you weren't doing plants anyway, so. There you go. Rue, you are now a Ninja Assassin. You are a cyborg Ninja Assassin. <laughs> There was samurai as a backstory? No, I don't think so. Clear fuel rods. We have three more. Let's turn these on for a second. Do we have like the really big capacitors? No, not yet. Try psychically hypersensitive. Oh man, when a psychic wave comes in, you're gonna be like going berserk.
Let's disallow rotting corpses from here. Do you think you can fit a few more traits on this big <laughs> god? Trait brawler? Oh. You didn't have brawler yet? Huh, okay. Memory's broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. I don't know the season or what is the reason I'm standing here holding my blade. <laughs> Cow cowboy, uh, if Jetstream Sam was, uh, from, like, Texas instead of, um, instead of Brazil. A desolate place without any trace. It's only the cold when I feel. It's me that I spy as I stand up and fight. The only thing I know for real. Uh, for the modded ones, look up Vanilla Traits Expanded, I believe. That should be the bulk of them. There will be blood shed. The man in the mirror nods his head. I feel absolutely insane right now. I'm just, I'm losing my mind to Metal Gear Rising. Why is the break about to happen? What? Oh, no, not the break. I mean, I was gonna like just end the stream soon, but I, I, I gotta keep playing RimWorld. RimWorld is so addicting. I just can't stop. How many fuel rods do we have? Six. All right. Furry identified? No. Excuse me, you're the furry, the one who wants the wolf ears, which I've been forgetting to install, and now I'm going to. Fun loving might be a dash. That's against your- what do you- what do you fucking mean? You said yes to the wolf ears. There's a difference? <laughs> liking cats doesn't make you a furry. <laughs> the cat person thing is liking cats, it's not literally being a cat boy. <laughs> what? There's a difference, uh. Prove it. The proof is right here. I'm not a cat. Alright, did we get the wolf ears in? Left crown left. Okay, I did it right. Also, like honestly, I don't I don't give a shit if you're a furry as long as you don't fuck animals. As long as you don't fuck animals, you're all good with me.
Yeah, don't. I had someone, like, seriously, not a trace of irony, fucking argue to me that fucking animals is okay because they don't matter as much as humans. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I agree that animals don't matter. Like, the feelings of animals don't matter as much as the feelings of humans, but, like, uh, that doesn't mean you can just fuck them. That's disgusting, bro. And it's very traumatic for the animal. <laughs> Cat ears for Zephy. Zephy, do you want this? Do you want to install this? <laughs> do I have to put someone down? Not my problem as long as I'm not involved. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Cat ears for you. We still need to replace your stomach. It's like doing that weird thing. Where is nuclear stomach? Where is the nuclear stomach? Nice big list of traits. Yeah, nice fat list of traits right there. At Nexon. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, look at that. The little cat ears pop up through your fucking helmet. <laughs> hold on. Is this actually... Let's hold on. Something's not rendering correctly. Oh, wait, it's because... Oh my god, the wolf ears are hidden behind your hair. No wonder. No wonder we can't see them. Closet furry. <laughs> Gender swap? Okay. Karen, do you, Karen, you already have a thrum uh, or unicorn horn. Do you want cat ears? If you want cat ears, then uh, drop them in, and I'll do it manually because I don't trust the game to do it correctly. It's cat ear. Singular. <laughs> Three followed by please not me. If it's you, I'll change it. <laughs> If it's any of the, the people I know immediately to be trans, I'll, I'll change it. Duel. Down millions in taxpayer dollars. Just destroy the bank, Lamal. Alright, Kron's cat ears too. This happens every time I have this mod installed, I swear to god. People go crazy for their little animal ears. Hey, Lana, what have you done? What have you done? You've released a curse upon this world. Death row- wait, what? What? Wait, Roboner just fucking died to an infection. I don't think he's supposed to be able to get infections. What? Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, robots are not supposed to be able to get infections. I don't know why Twitch Toolkit gives them infections. 
this is why you can't have shit in Detroit. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm changing that. You're not supposed to be able to die like that. Twitch toolkit is broken as hell. instigate the chaos magic it's not poor medical support literally our medical team is probably the best in the rim look, look you want to see our medical team our fucking medical team is insane 37 medical on me and i don't use skill trainers and then zephy 20 medical not quite as high as i thought but our people don't use skill trainers 33 medical on bear 59 wait no six medical on Karen. never mind i was looking at the wrong one uh like we have four whole doctors. The reason you didn't get treated is because skeleton medicine is not compatible with an infection for whatever goddamn reason. I gotta make sure that all the stuff is still... Okay, yeah, all the stuff is still set. That's good. Zephy, are you alright? Yes, you are alright. What's the deal with the nuclear stomach and why don't we have one? Should be moved up in the list. Yeah, there we go. Put that there. Okay, how many fuel rods do we have? Three more. Uh, try medicine? Skill trainer medic medicine, maybe? Oh, hey. These things got made. Let's make another. There we go. Oh yeah, who got gender swapped? I got gender swapped. Let's fix that. Nuh uh. I am not taking that. Architect stomach? For Zephy? Architect stomach isn't as good as the nuclear stomach. Nuclear stomach, like, you barely have to eat at all. Architect stomach just. I don't even know what it does. I don't think it really does anything. But yeah, if you use uh, that, it can auto queue. There we go. Game notice: No one wanted the gender swaps, but picked me. Yeah. What? Roboner, why is literally nothing that you're... You st you're not good at plants. Why is yours... Why? No wonder we didn't get any fucking medicine from that. Your skill isn't high enough. Hey, 
Hey, Nexon, if you're still here, could you, like, give yourself some plant skill trainers? Surgery scheduled. Thank you. There we go. That will do. Nexon is broke. All right, here's what we could do. Here's the thing we can do. Been saving this thing around. This is a training bench, and I'm just gonna force Nexon to train on that forever. Like Spike. Yeah, Roboner hates the flesh, but loves the plant. Literally skill issue. Literally skill issue with Nexon. Piano? Uh, okay. Don't really have anywhere to put it. <laughs> Can just go there for now. Can you change your hair? Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you want it to be? Also, your cat ears are floating. What do you want to change your hair to? It's unfortunate that you can't make a piano out of uranium. You saw Sailor Moon pigtails? Do you want Sailor Moon pigtails? Uh, I mean, that's the most Sailor Moon thing. That's more like a Miku pigtail thing, but uh, you could have that. Roboner, go. All right. Fuel rods, how many more do we have? Three, and we're missing five. All right, come on, people. What's Bobo doing, and why is it not nuclear stuff? All right, congratulations, Zephy. You have a nuclear stomach now. Come on, make those nuclear fuel rods already. All right, just one more. 
Where the hell's Bobo? What are you doing? Using the toilet? There you go. Finally, all those reactor rods. Uh, wings. Okay, wings. Uh, there's a problem with wings because wings uh, up your movement speed if you use the feathered wings. Uh, each one, each set ups your movement speed. So, again, higher movement speed means more pathfinding. More pathfinding means more lag. So, uh, I, I don't really want to ban them, but, like, I kind of might have to. It's like, well, having wings would be so cool, but I, uh, I think I kind of have to ban them for the sake of my computer. Uh, but you can have, um, what's it called? Leathery wings. I don't think those increase move speed, but they do increase armor. Um, yeah. And then, so leathery wings, I think are okay. Throwing knives are terrible. They're only made of steel and they don't do a lot of damage. So don't. If I could make throwing knives out of adamantium, I would, and I'd give them to you, but you can't. That's not how it works. Are we done with our nuclear fuel rods? Holy shit, we are. All right, I'm gonna set this to be a do until you have like 10, sure. And then let's just install those. Set that to five, we don't need, we don't need 10. Actually, we, we only need three. That'll be good. We'll have three spare nuclear fuel rods that we can install at any time. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that, but Evolved Organ Redux does that. You can have two sets of leathery wings because uh, they go on your upper back or your lower back. You could be like a one of those seraphim angels almost. Not quite. You can't have three pairs of wings, which would be really cool. But uh, you can have two. All right, just Bobo. Bobo, I, I need you to, oh fuck. Come on, nuclear reactor, please. All right. Bobo Hall. Good. Just one more fuel rod and we'll start it all up. If it can go on your person, you need it. All right. Bobo? Good. Every time I check and there's nuclear fuel rods that need to be installed, Bobo better be the one doing it. I'm sorry, little Banui, you are going to be irradiated. Psychic Soothe, thanks, Charon. Start. All right, let's see how much power this generates. Oh yeah, that's a lot of power. Oh, baby, that's a lot of power. Oh, yes. 
114 kilowatts. That is amazing. We can disable all of these now. It's like pretty much redundant at this point. As uh, so we need simple machine frames. All right, resource console, set this thing up. Hyperweave, neutromine, do until you have, uh, for this one, we'll say 750. And for neutromine, uh, sure, 750 as well. All right, that way we'll have a good solid supply of hyperweave and neutromine at all times. And then, which that, that means that I can make all of these only take um neutral or only take hyperweave because that's the best cloth that we have at the moment set it to do that set it to do that and trousers hyperweave dusters hyperweave although i think we can suspend the dusters bill because we're going to be using power armor instead of dusters so, should be fine. Let's have K-Ron do the trading for now. But yeah, let's let's check why Zephy's mad. Um, what do you have? Nothing cool. Want the anxious trait? <laughs> okay. Looks like you just don't have a lot that's good. And these negative ones are just kind of normal. What does anxious even do? Feels naturally anxious, especially... Huh. Okay. Holy shit, do we have an oil spill here? Oh uh, boy. Yep, we do have an oil spill. Um, 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 um. Where is it? Where's the clean oil spill thing? Clean spill. Guys. I think it's about time that we well first off it's probably about time that i uh stop the stream because i'm hungry and i haven't eaten in a long time stay in drugs don't do school <laughs> um but before i leave i want to queue up a digital storage unit for the freezer that's going to be our food storage and uh our food will be a lot more accessible with that I think we should also expand this room here. Just deconstruct that. Make our dining room a little bit bigger. All right, do not choose Wanderer Joins. Anything else is fine.
Uh, wanderer joins means that just uh, someone joins the colony, and I can't do anything about it. <clears throat> they just join, and then I have to take care of a whole new person who isn't a member of our stream watchers. So it's like not great. Can't we just beat them up and turn them into meat? Then everyone gets sad because we beat someone up who's part of the colony. Not everyone is, uh, not everyone has a bloodlust. A lot of us do, but not all of us. Now harvesting, harvesting them for organs also gives a negative debuff to mood. Like, normally cannibalism and anything related to butchering people does too. I just have the cult in place so that it doesn't. Ideology is kind of OP like that. Normally there's actual consequences to butchering up people. <laughs> Who is stomping? Is that stomping or did something fall? I think I should probably go check. Be right back. Nothing fell, there was a bug on the floor in the other room. <laughs> uh, disco ball? You want a disco ball? We got a disco ball. Boom, light ball. Ballistas? Why, though? I mean, I'll install them. I don't think... I mean, I'm pretty sure that our... Uh, our guns, any one of our guns is better than a whole ass ballista. But sure. A ballista uranium. <laughs> We advancing backwards, are we? Yeah. That's part of RimWorld lore. <laughs> you want a wooden sword? Odd that it can't be made of copper. Look up trebuchet, unfortunate. Long swords are kind of behind the times, let's say. Why, why is chitin a valid material for a long sword? That's just that's kind of stupid to me. I don't like that chitin is a thing from Vanilla Expanded. Wait, a forklift? Wait, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, it's a prop. All right. I guess we're going to have to start running forklift certifications now because uh, there's a forklift in the colony.
need a wooden sword to go with the flamethrower so you can set your sword on fire. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you still have your flame. No, I changed you out for a smart machine gun because I don't know where the flamethrower went. There it is. Let's have you equip the RM2 flamethrower. I want to see how that fares. And then Katie, you can take the... Wait, Zeph, Zephy, wait. Oh, where the smart machine... Okay. Katie, take the smart machine gun. Motherfucker spawned a whole forklift. <laughs> No, there's no, none of that kind of tank. There's a lot of different storage tanks, but not like the battle tank kind of thing. Flame turret. Uh, okay. It's pretty short range. Oh, marriage is on. Charon and Wulong are getting married. Congratulations. Heavy flamer. Okay, the heavy flamer is uh, a special weapon. Flamer wrist. Okay, this thing, I don't think it actually works. I still have to do testing on these combat bionics. See if they work with the current mod set. Um, I don't think they worked very well. And if they don't work, I think they require a mod that breaks ideology. I, I haven't done enough testing with that one. That is the next thing I wanted to test, though. As far as, like, bionics, uh, combat bionics. I wanted to see if those worked. Because if they do work, you can get a minigun in your arm. <laughs> Which isn't quite as good as some of the weapons that you can get, but it is, like, good for some things. That you were the pyromaniac? No, the, we have multiple pyromaniacs. We have, let's see. Zephy's a pyromaniac. You're a pyromaniac. Maybe it's just you two. Yeah, I think it's just you two. Okay, they're both of you. Why is nothing on fire? There is one fire right here. It is right here. There's a whole ass campfire for you to be around. I should build some more though. Put one there as well. There we go. If I can get the Flamer Wrist working, uh, it'll be really cool. Also, another thing, Flamer Wrist will replace your entire arm, which is, you know, not ideal. However, if I use a Medical System Expanded mod, uh, it doesn't replace your entire arm, and you can actually add it onto another arm, which is great. Uh, but that doesn't work super well with, um, what was it, Evolved Organs Redux. Where'd those campfires go? I'm not going to be able to use all these campfires. There's only so many I can place. We have to worry about fueling them, too. Which we, If you haven't checked recently, there's no trees on the map, so... We don't have a good way of fueling stuff.
Fire is better than arm. Trust me, it's not. If you have better arm, you can use flamethrower better. Oak tree? Can I even plant it anywhere? Wait, I can just plant it in the sand? Huh? Why can't I just plant an oak tree in the sand? What? I don't think trees are supposed to be minified like that. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Holy shit, guys, there's no grass to touch. What will we ever do? Wait, what? Oh, it's a fake tree. <laughs> it's a fake tree, no wonder. Can we deconstruct it for some wood? You're sorting the fuel pro- just- No, just drop wood! Just drop wood! You can drop wood! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Look up grass. We ha oh wait, okay, no, never mind. We do have hay grass. We can touch grass. It's okay, guys. We won't lose touch. This is not a lore-friendly wood-getting process. You're dropping fake trees on us. They're not even real. Long grass. Is this also fake grass? It is fake grass, what the fuck? Why are you dropping AstroTurf on me? More fake trees? Does deconstructing these even give me anything? Like genuinely, does it, does it even do anything? Also, I should set up uh, our stuff to trim some smoke leaf. <laughs> Your new meme. <laughs> okay. I should uh, disallow plant matter from here. Come on game, don't lag on me like this. Sakurambo. A single one. Uh, no, your pond is not a psychopath. You, however. <laughs> okay, a Christmas tree, I'll take that.
what's getting close. Christmas isn't getting close. Not in the game or real life. I think I'm gonna stop for now. I'm really hungry. I need to eat. So I'm, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> it's only like the entire half of the year away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Thank you guys for watching and sticking with me for all, how many hours? All six hours of this stream? Almost seven. I am insane, and if you watched through this whole thing, you're insane too. So, <laughs> bye for now, guys. Okay, I'll let the pine tree drop in. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, guinea pigs.